Oh god, here we go. It's fucking coming back. The achievement runs. Gentlemen, I'm not gonna fucking talk around much. We're fucking back. We're fucking back. We're fucking back. At least a single player, so I can't be mad at people. We're fucking back, brother. Oh man, here we go. <sighs> We're back to Hoi 4, gentlemen. No step back is out. I'm getting early access. Thank you so much, Paradox, for giving me early access while even Bokuin gets sponsored by you. Paradox can still suck it. Fuck him. But we're gonna play a game because the Hoi 4 team under Dan Lint did a great job here. They're not to blame. It's just certain people at Paradox that are a little bit bitchy and she'll fucking see real life for once. Um, announce the stream on YouTube. Ugh. How do you announce something? You go here. You go here. Sorry, guys. I'm getting a YouTube clips in. My God, the Age of Empires making me so sad. Okay, epic, epic posts. Let's get YouTube clips in. Post on the OnlyFans? I already did. I used your mom's account. I don't know. I'm not inside Twitter on my PC, but fuck it. I don't want to. I just want to have fun, man. Calm down first. I'm really sorry for always being so toxic age vampires. I just... If, if you're just being honest about psychology, I know a lot of you hate me for that. A lot of you viewers watch me and you're like, fuck this ginger. What an asshole. And if we're being honest, when I'm toxic in age vampires, it's just that I'm coping with my own um, uh, low skill. Like, I can't accept I, I'm trash, so I get toxic. It's, it's more like an attack against myself, right? No step back. Just like in Age of Empires, what do you have to offer? Thank you, Satana. What do we have to offer? Oh my god. Achievement runs are back. Every viewer knows that me and the Chief Borns are like uh, Tupac and Biggie. <laughs> I cannot wait to take the world to Stanatuba. Okay. What do we have to do, gentlemen? At least they run on time. As fascist Italy have max level railways in all your core states. That's that's just a grind, right? That's really easy. Just AFK. Uh, thank you, Horsa, for the gifted. Uh, very good AFK achievement, Paradox. Today, we're doing not much fun in Stalingrad as Germany captured the Soviet Union without taking Stalingrad. The reason I'm playing Germany, even though it doesn't get a new focus tree, is that I want to learn the mechanics. Designing tanks, what are the railways about, I just want to, uh, the commander staff, I want to see that stuff. That's why you're seeing Germany today. As Poland, be independent and ensure that both Germany and Russia are either in your faction or don't exist. So as Poland, kill everybody. That comes later. That comes later. As Poland installed a Habsburg monarch and be in a faction with another Habsburg monarch. That sounds like a, a, a luck achievement. You have to restart the game until Hungary or uh, Austria chooses a Habsburg. As the USSR take Rome, that sounds fun. Uh, Russia world conquest. As Lithuania hold the capitals of all your neighbors. <laughs> The moment I read that achievement, I had a twitch in my left eye, man. That means you have to kill everything, man. You have to kill everyone. It's World Conquest of Romania. As any Baltic state conquered the entire shoreline of the Baltic Sea. Well, then you can't do just to all the Romania. These are the same. As Latvia form Ostland and occupy Vastabotten. As Estonia secure Scandinavia. Oh, that's gonna suck because they're gonna join the Allies at 25% world tension, man. Oh my god. The, the, the thing is, though, I'm. What? S oh man, BFK till 1945. Oh, oh, this is gonna be. Well, have only puppets as the Soviets restore the Romanovs. Blah 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 blah. Make a railroad from Gibraltar to Singapore. <sighs> Thank you, Birdinger. Gentlemen, welcome back to Toxic Ginger with trouble undiagnosed autism oh i said autism sponsorship is gone ah, who cares i don't care about anything anymore let's fucking go back to hoi four ladies and gentlemen no step back uh, it looks like a really cool dlc big shout out i talk a lot of shit about paradox but i only talk shit about certain people in paradox they know who they are 
these little bitches. Uh, but big shout out to the Hoi 4 team. Paradox has really been a company that's just going downhill lately. Uh, Masquerades is a disaster. CK3 disaster. Uh, then Leviathan U4 is a disaster. It's just really going downhill. But one group is still showing what they're up to. And that is the Hoi 4 department in Paradox. They're doing great products. They're doing great stuff, man. And I want to show respect to that with the, and to Dan Lind. And we are here in no step back <laughs> iron man mode historical or unhistorical what do you think why am i from germany you should ask my mom's vagina about that <sighs> historical unhistorical let's poll it i'm polling it you guys can poll it we're polling it uh um bum 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 unhistorical or historical okay one minute see what you guys are up to man Thank you, uh, Noodle Player. <laughs> Thank you, Noodle Player. Elite difficulty? My ass. Difficulty is super broken in this game. It just makes them have no uh, attrition. We're playing on historical, eh? Don't forget Spice for collab government since you can't take Stalingrad. Ah, ah, clever. The achievements always have a meta, right? There's like this website, I think, Hoifor Wiki, that always explains how to do achievements, but it, it's not even out yet, so I have to figure out myself. Unhistorical, baby. Unhistorical, so fucking be it. You guys ready? Let's fucking go. Let's delete all that shit. Armenia? What? <laughs> oh, Armenia? <laughs> what happened there? Difficulty is broken in every strategy game. They just get stupid uh, bonuses and stuff. Yeah. So yeah, I'm not gonna put up difficulty. And we're back at Germany. We're back in 04 single player. We're back at official achievements. First of all, this all looks different. Oh, what? Oh, they're, they're, everything's different. Connected citizen. Oh. Okay, step by step. Step by step. Step by step. What the fuck is going on? First of all, there is now officer... Oh, man. Woo. There's... Uh, thank you, Sakat. There is now officer corps allocated. No command power is currently allocated by your officer corps. You have to make... Command power go into that shit. Cool. Daily gain and they give. Ah, nah. Oh, you don't get. Ex How did that work? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, you don't research fucking doctrines anymore. Oh. Oh. oh, oh, oh. What the fuck? What? Okay. What? So Air Force, Navy, and that shit. And that's generals and that's admirals. And what is this? Military high command. Okay. Spirit of the Army, Spirit of the Academy, Spirit of the Division Command. What? Okay, you don't do that. That that changes. Uh, dude, that changes the research meta insanely. I think it even helps miners a lot because you don't. Dude, there's a new sound. Listen. That's new. That's new. 100%. 100%. Um, that means you save so much research, you don't do doctrines anymore. So, how would that work? So, I'm Hitler, so I like fast tanks, and I want mobile warfare. Preferred tactic selection, currently no tactic. Oh, there is it. Oh, you can make a preferred tactic in battles now. That's ultra deep, man. Thank you, Pengu. That's like, oh, oh, okay. Your preferred tactics. What happens here? Oh, you can have, oh, let's take our time. You have a spirit of the academy, which means it's about officers. Officers. Have a 50% have chance to get plus one attack on a level up. Defense, planning or logistics. Also, there's loyalty, which makes the party popularity stabilizer more important. The new officers have politically connected or media personality traits. And they're 50% less, which is useless, as Germany have enough generals. Inventive, which gives them trickster and commando faster. Or naval invader trade. New officers have a 50% chance to get... But you never make new officers. Inventive leadership seems to be massive for... Um, naval invasions. This is a naval invasion uh, build. Commando, naval invader. This is this is if you want to be... Like, if you play Brazil in multiplayer and you want to uh, be a marine guy. This, you should take this. And then we have the Panzer leader trade. XP gain plus 20%. New officers begin with Panzer officer. Oy, oy, oy. Then we have Spirit of the Army. Jeez, man. The, 
I thought uh, Japan and USA. Yeah, Japan, USA, Australia, New Zealand, Brazil, Mexico. Yeah. Thank you, old ghost, for one year. I have to say, I'm not a huge fan of Age of Empires. Yeah, no one is, man. Uh, thank you very much. Holy fuck, single player hope for gameplay. I'm fucking dreaming. Uh, I thought I can just start the game. We have to actually research a lot, man. So, Spirit of the Army, which gives you... Ah, okay. Professional Officer Course gives you minus 5% land doctrine cost, more command power, and more XP gain. That seems really strong. Holy crap. How is anything gonna beat that? Elevated Engineering. This is defensive. The Railgun gives 5% more bonus. Nice. Engineers are easier. This is all about engineers and entrenchment. This is what you want to re-entrench yourself. I'm always thinking about multiplayer. Who will take that? Who will... What nation of multiplayer would need that? Thank you, Brazen. Yeah, well, fucking dank is Mimicus sitting behind the shitty river being a pussy is gonna do that. Proper heritage. Yeah, Russia, China. China, obviously, yeah. Then we have a cavalry trait. Seems quite useless. Nobody ever uses cavalry. Okay. Quick improvisation is about planning speed. And better commander abilities. Okay. They all give command power, huh? No, not all. Some give command power. Then we have the state serves the military. Oh, that's meta. Oh, that's meta. 10% PP gain. Bro, you can use military knowledge to improve your political power, man. Especially in the multiplayer mods, that's going to be massive. And then we have the motorized drive. Heavy tank unit design cost. Minus 100. Motorized gets more experience. That's a new word I just learned. Motorized infantry design easier. Designing everything. I think that sounds very German. With tanks. Okay. Cool. Then. Spirit of Division Command. Static Warfare. Which is all about entrenching. Additional elastic defense tactic chance. And you get more often the chance of defending. This is very defensive. Then we have flexible organization. Movement speed. I love that. I think I would like to do that on Blitzkrieg Germany. Aggressive reconnaissance gives you massive reconnaissance, intelligence gained from combat, infiltration, assault tactic happens more often. Looks like they care more about tactics. Reserve officer is about training divisions faster. Mm, don't know when that will be used. Thank you, Aranduil. Thank you, man. Victory or death? Organization. Wait, I don't understand. When my orc is below 25. I lose organization less, and I use mass charge more often. This looks very Chinese. Hardcore attacks. Maneuver warfare. Ooh. What's coordination? You know what's in, what's hard now? In, uh, before, you need to understand tactics. Like, what the fuck is unexpected thrust? What the fuck is coordination? That's navy stuff. Is it? No, this is the army. Army command. What are you talking about? It's the new reinforce rate. Oh, fuck. I love what? Available. Re so there's no reinforce. Wait, there's no reinforcement anymore. No uh, initiative makes reinforcement higher. Yeah. Um. Okay. Coordination will make divisions focus on one division of the enemy. Thank you, Torse. Okay, this is like a brand new game, man. This is really cool. Unexpected thrust. So, um, checking. I want to check everything. Yeah, let's check everything. So, what if I don't care about Navy? I just don't put a guy here and I'm cool? Oh, you need... So, you can't start researching doctrines until you have one of these guys or something? I guess so. Hmm. Then, in Navy, we have... Um, admirals have... This is where the Admirals have a chance to get a trade. Uh, you could get more Seawolf, blah, blah, blah. The problem is, you know, you need more knowledge in this game. You can't be needed anymore. Like, if you don't know what Sea Wolf is, if you don't know what Blockade Runner is, if you don't know... Uh, yeah, if you don't know what that is, you're kind of like, what, what, what the fuck? Then we have uh, the Spirit of the Navy. Destroyer Resource Speed plus 20, man. You buy Doctrines for XP. Thank you, Boom, for the 32. Wait, I just buy them? Like, I get them instantly? Here, I need 100 Army XP. Okay. I was always scared in this DLC that minor nations, which I love so much, like Australia and Brazil, can't keep up because they don't have army XP. Like, you know, Germany goes to Spain and stuff, and Japan and China, and you have so much XP. But uh, Brazil doesn't go to any wars. Uh, USA doesn't go to any wars. Is he going to be cool? I kind of just want to start playing. So, also, new fucking supply... Uh, this is a new game. This is really a new game. Railways. Railways are used to connect supply hubs together to allow drawing of supply far from your capital. 
<laughs> okay. Why is one orange and one isn't? Oh god, I'm such an idiot in this. One out of 171. Factories give more supply. Like, this has... Supply connection from capital is 25. Oh, this is a brand new game. What? Supply hubs distribute supply to nearby provinces. Their range and efficiency is dependent on weather, ground conditions, infrastructure, available level, and mobilization. To increase the range and supply provided by a supply hub, consider using the upgrade railways command or changing the motorization level. Okay, is this is a mod pack? This is the real game. And it looks like a mod pack. Some is orange because they're close to the capital. That's just learned by doing. And I can make supply hubs. Like everywhere. No, not everywhere. Wait, I can't make them everywhere. No, you can't make them everywhere. Okay. Supply hub. Okay. Cool. Cool. So, how do I do a doctrine? What? Like, I'm Hitler after the doctrines? Okay, I, I can't. I guess I have to wait or something. Check out the researchable trains. Let me check what changed from research. This is all the same. But you have to do... Half track suspension. I don't know what? A hybrid between a fully tracked vehicle and a regular wheel suspension. The setup has a pair of wheels up. So this is for designing tanks. I thought if I upgrade more motorization, I think they mean something else. Here. That's trains. I have a train. Thank you, Nikki. I have a train. Taken over by the military from regular civilian freight duty. This train engine is well suited to move a large amount of supplies over long distances. Blah, blah, blah. They have 70 production cost and one steel. Then we have uh, two ways to go. I wonder why. This is really for... Our, this is very far ahead and this isn't. This is some late game shit. This is a simplified design. So this is just the same, just 20 less production. Yeah. It's not like they're armored or anything. It's just 20 less production. Yeah. Then we have this boy, which is... A train engine and case and heavy armor. This is a heavy armor train to make it less vulnerable to enemy attacks. It can carry as much cargo as another design, but it's more expensive. So this is very expensive, but has a lot of armor. I don't know yet how that works. Who is attacking your trains? Isn't your divisions defending your trains anyway? And then we have Dora the Explorer, which a heavy cannon mounted. Oh, so this is the, the good stuff. The, this is the thing that actually shoots. It's the planes that attack. Cast can attack trains. Okay. And this is the I shoot you train. It's not really telling you... Oh, I, you can actually just get that right away. Oh, you can get that right away. Okay, what else changed? I, yeah, yeah, I like this, man. This is really good. First of all, we have engines. We have engines. They don't really say much. It's just that enables engine upgrade up to 10. 5, 10, 15, 20, 18. We're going to check that in a second. This makes your engine higher. Then we have light chassis. Ch chassis? Ch chassis? Amphibious chassis, medium chassis, everything the same. And then we have armor protections. Enables welded armor. Gives more defense, breakthrough, and plus 40% armor. Improved armor, etc. Okay, jeez. Nothing changed here. Yeah, it's so weird to have no more doctrines, man. It's so awkward. I like it, though. It's so well done by the team, man. Uh, just it's making the game very new, man. It's beautiful. Okay, I feel like just playing and see what happens. Look at artillery. It's all the same, isn't it? That's the same. That's the same. You can have mediums in 34 now. In 34? The game doesn't even start in 34. Look at artillery. There are new ones and the existing ones. Uh, uh, what are you talking about? Maybe they have different design, but what's new here? Click on them. What? Wait, 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 wait. What? If I have Artillery 2, I unlock a medium cannon and an improved medium howitzer, which is probably guns for tanks. Ah, that's po Oh, cool, man. Fuck! This is really good. Okay, let's just really calm. Let's be calm about this. Very chill. Why is the 60 yellow? Ah, it's like, oh, you should build here, man. Okay, let's really take my time here. I'm building on all the 80s. Tommy, you're gonna get infrastructure there later. I don't care. Okay, we're building on all the 80s. Boom. Really taking my fucking sweet time here. We're going to the Spanish Civil War. I want to play without exploits, so I'm not uh, really making infinite tanks uh, to exploit five divisions. And yeah, this Germany game is for an achievement, but also to learn all the new stuff. Construction one, basic machine tools, 
There's new sound effects. Da -da -da -da. You can upgrade mechanized. Health track suspension. I don't know what you're talking about, but wait, what is that by the way? That's amphibious, yeah, yeah. That's the amphibious shit. Yeah. Check anti-tank. Well, it probably gives basic high velocity cannon and big dude. Guys, in order to fuck with you guys a bit, I'm not checking tank design yet. Just to fuck with you. It's so awkward. I'm not doing uh I'm not doing doctrines. Uh I'm not doing doctrines. I don't understand. Just to fuck with you, I'm not designing a tank yet. We're doing that when the time comes. Dude, I don't know what to research because I have too much time now. That will change the meta so hard. Let's do interwar artillery. Ah, yeah, yeah, I'm so excited actually. I'm really excited. Let's take a. Oh, fuck. First of all, delete that shit. What is that? Tommy, someone done. shouldn't delete that. Fuck you. Also, isn't that this new thing? This, 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 uh. Portable base shit? Where is that? Where is that? You can now make a portable, um. I think we kind of, there's a 34 medium tank. Oh, there's a 34 medium. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's, let's finish that real quick. It's in construction, you think? Where is the, what am I looking for? What is the word? Portable Harbor. Uh, floating docks on the bottom. Mine lane. The Mur, it's a Murberry Harbor. Do you know where it is? Naval Invasion Tech 2. Enables Floating Harbor. Ah, okay. That's gonna change the meta so hard. We're, re we're really in a meta now. In Hoi 4. In multi I'm always thinking about multiplayer. Thank you for 100 gifted Belgian butcher. Jesus Christ. Fucking hell. By the way, I wanted to send you package Belgian, right? But because of Corona, I can't send uh, packages to your country. I'm not gonna say your country. I have to wait a bit with Corona because of that. Thank you for 1k bits, Noodle. Thank you for 100 gifted Belgian butcher, man. Look what happens when I uh, don't play Age of Empires. You get info to the harbor if you click it. Thank you very, very much. Floating harbor. This will change multiplayer because you can now naval wait everything you want, man, if you play it right. I just wonder... There's so many questions. Thank you for the 100 Belgian. Thank you, Vitamin Boy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um... Imagine you invade me, and you have a shit ton of harbors and marines, but I have 100 submarines. Do my submarines fuck your floating harbors? I wonder. Is your division still getting caught? What if I take a battleship and right-click on your harbor? Is that harbor gonna get destroyed? I wonder. I really want to see this in action, so step by step. Um, gonna make convoys with Germany. We're making no trash planes. Uh, thank you, MCFCN. Thank you so much for 100 gifted Belgium, man. You're literally the only one that keeps me above 4.5k. Uh, no artillery one. Fuck that. I I'm uh, light tank chassis. I still want to play good. Civilian train. Okay, I'm building. But how do I know how many trains I need? How does is there is there a need somewhere? Does it say, Tommy, man, your army needs 100 trains, man? Like where would I? How would I understand that? Where's the logistics tab again? Trains. Like, how much do I need? Up on the top, there's a box. Logistic for... Oh. Logistic fulfillment. Logistic capacity represents how satisfied your supply lines are. If your country lacks the trains or the motorized equipment needed... Motorized is so much more important now. Holy crap. Uh, needed for transferring all supply needs, your units will get reduced Okay. Trucks needed zero and stockpile two. You need to make trucks and shit. Man, this is... I'm actually really feeling this. Dude, if you're watching Dan Lind and Hoi4 team and whoever, you guys did a great job, man. You guys did a fucking fantastic job here. Uh, there's a bug though. You guys suck. You bugged my game out. I can't scroll up. Dan Lind, I can't scroll up! I can't scroll up. I have to fix the bug by doing this now. And now I can fix the bug. Whoa, Paradox. Whoa. Whoa, man. Whoa. So, one armored car is enough to have reconnaissance bonus the whole game. Um, how many mils I have left? I have a shit ton. Oh, my God. I'm Germany. Um, let's do one on... Let's do one on armor. One on railway. Civilian train. Uh, some guns. I probably need far more of this now. Let's let's open up like this. Just I have no idea. Experience. Do some AA. I, I will do AA too. In like 
Like good players in multiplayer, you don't touch level one equipment, right? Because it's just it's not good enough. So uh, let me take care of everything. I want to really just take my time and enjoy. I'm not going to rush anything. Just really, I'm old now, man. I'm chilling. Deleting the Air Force, bringing the fleet together in in Wilhelm's Hafen. In Willy's Hafen, Aldo. And uh, designing divisions, probably still on XP, right? Let's just check it. Okay. So before I start, how the fuck do I research anything? I need 100 army XP. The achievement is uh, take Russia without Stalingrad. Uh, check out the new focus tree of Russia. I'm doing that when I play Russia. Um, don't forget the spy network. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Up there. Thank you. You're right. Uh, it develops over time. The combat width has changed now. Yeah. How do I know how that works? What is the battle combat width? Combat with tells you how much room the division blah blah blah. For example, if a combat has a total of 80 width. Oh, everything is so, This is a brand new game. So this is a plane. Does it tell you the, the combat width of a plane is 90? Additional attacks 45. Movement cost 1. Then we have urban. This has a combat width of 96. Enemy air support is less and additional effects 32. Movement cost increased by 20%. This is really like a new game, man. I love this. So, I do 30 whiff or... What's a forest? A forest is 84. Do you use XP to upgrade mech-like planes? Yeah, but where do you get XP from? Like, a USA player doesn't get XP till 1939. How is he gonna do anything? 21 first the meta? This is actually really genius by them. You have to think about it now. Are you in the forest a lot? Then you make something that divides by 84. If you're on the planes a lot. Like Russia is planes and yeah, it's also forest. It's everything. Bruh, let's check a swamp. A marsh is 78. Boah. Make just make four whiffs. The mountains says, what if you're a mountaineer player? Like sometimes, you know, you like to play certain miners and you only play them on mountaineers. Like I really enjoy to play Austrian mountaineers. So a really good mountain division now needs to be 40 worth. No, that's a hill. That's a hill. Sorry. Um, let's go to the Alps. Mountain has a, wow, 75 combat width. So uh, 25 with mountaineers? Dude, mountains really fuck you now, man. Military advisors give daily XP now. Okay. Thank you, Angela, for the five, man. Thank you for the subs, guys. 25 or 50 with. A 25 with will go... 26 is a good solution. Man, this is so interesting. This is really cool. This is so good. I love it. I have no idea what kind of division I should do, and it's beautiful. I love it. I love it. People will make spreadsheets, man. I'm too retarded for that. Exercise your troops for XP. Um, I'm too dumb for that shit. So army XP is everything. So you really want to just rush? Is anything new here? Is there like first among equals? Heavy fighter production goes down. That's new. Uh, that guy is new. So you have to just really rush Heinz Guderian. No, he doesn't give army. He doesn't give XP. Wrong. Fake news. He makes the cost of doctrines 15% less, but he doesn't give army XP. I still don't understand how you make army XP. Two whiff is the best. Um, yeah, someone will make a spreadsheet. In the army core tab. Ah! Ah, army XP. Ah, they give bonuses and army XP. You need 20 command power, 100 PP. So that's very important. Erwin Rommel is now really important. Dude, this is, this is just great. I cannot talk shit right now. Uh, they made this so much more diverse, so much more decision-making. PP matters more now, which I've been complaining forever. Erwin Rommel does something now and shit. This is so much better, man. This is so far amazing. This is so far really amazing. We're gonna take Rhinon first, so the uh, tension goes down. Also, we take the Army XP. And let's just play and see what happens. <clears throat> let's just see what happens. Yeah, Rommel gives huge bonuses. When we have 100 in PP, we're gonna take a look. Okay, how much do I get from this training? 0.085. Almost doesn't... It's almost not worth it, man. I wonder if one division training works, but... Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I can't save because Iron Man. I would like to test it. Look at the supply system. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Supply map mode. Yeah, oh my god, what? 
Yeah, yeah, so I... Uh, so let's... I always imagine what's happened in real life. I'm sitting here and I'm attacking someone and my supply sucks. And I'm like, ah, fuck this game! And then I press F4. Ah, F4 is now this, okay? And then I'm here and I see... Total supply hubs, 466. Supply remaining, 741. Supply from Oberschlesien, blah, blah, blah. Uh, blah 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 divisions will consume provincial supply based on their supply weight every unit has a weight of supply weight of supply supply use how much supply a unit consumes per day they will consume from internal store until stored supply is at the same level as the local supply officer core head of army gives xp yeah, 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 I have to do this here. I have to take this shit, right? That's important. I still wonder though, like... Like in Brazil, how is he gonna keep up with doctrines? We will see, we will see. Wait, I have supply issues? What? Wait, what? <laughs> what? My Polish supply is fucked. What? What? You can put your units in a line anymore. Keep them on supply nodes. Wait, what? Like, what if I go to Berlin? I'm safe? Bro, I'm so confused. I have no idea what's going on. I think you just... What? Whoever said that probably lied and is an asshole. Some go to Munich. I have no idea what's happening. Oh look, they like <laughs> they drank Corona after them. Yeah, you have to spread out. Bad Medi, Medi talk shit. Medi, Medi is killing me here. You can still do this. Medi is just don't listen to Medi. He's an idiot. Oh, Mifu builds. Don't forget Mifu builds. Dutch trade. Uh, I feel like an old man who's playing a new game. Some bases have very low supply. So, but I have a hundred. Percent logistics. I, I don't know. Just go garrison order. It doesn't matter. They're fine. They're not attritioning. Don't listen to idiots and shed. This is fine. Okay, let's see where this goes. Thank you, Rubby. Okay, the goal is obviously to have some dudes in Spain in a second. So, it's. Oh, you need. You can take Rommel without army innovations. Oh, man, this changes everything. Like, do you not want to do sifts and actually rush on? Let me, let me, let's check this. So, I got, oh, 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 my mercy. Oh, real German food. Thank you so much, Lisa. I'm going to eat on stream in front of 4K viewers. Uh, my pony will be very mad, but I haven't eaten anything in hours. E, there's like, things in the Rolade. Anyway, um, some country has claimed your territory. What? Uh, so, once I have 20 elo kits and 100 PP, I can take Rundstedt, who gives recovery and 0.9. You could rush Rommel. He's, he gives 12. And he's very good with armor. Looks like Germany is stronger at armor now. Thank you, Ninja and Magic. Marconi, I'm sorry. I have to eat. I got to eat, haven't eaten anything today. Um, Kurt is about paratroopers, okay. Günther is about fleet. Ferdinand is about infantry. So taking him first makes sense. Uh, we have an attrition guy. So they all give 0 0.09 and a bonus, okay. There's a cast guy, Hugo Sperle. Interception guy, naval guy, anti. So you can really... It seems like, I don't know yet, that... You can now be far more individual in Hoyford. You can individualize more. You can really work more on what your nation should be about. But, sorry. I don't think it's worth rushing army innovations to get Rommel. Like you waste 70 days of focus just to get 0 0.12 instead of 0 0.9. 0 0.9, sorry. Hmm. Keep going. Good to check releasable countries from Germany. There's none. Wait, what? What? 
<laughs> What's happening? Thank you, Varani and Mizuman. Can someone explain Kashu? What? What is Kashubia? Kashubia. I've never heard of that. Attrition killing the army. No, no, no. This is wrong. I'm not attritioning. This is a new thing. It just says, listen, man, there's no supply in Königsberg. But my army's fine. It's a Slavic majority in your Danzig. Thank you, Boomer. Release them? You guys know that I'm achievement running, right? This is not a meat channel. This is not ISP. This is straight up achievements. I'm sorry for eating on stream, but bro, I haven't. Come on, man. Just because there's 4K viewers, I'm not gonna be different. <clears throat> okay, we got up there. The first spice coming. Keep going. I'm eating. I can't explain in English. Peas and knödel and rolade. I can't explain. The achievement runs will be very cancer. Uh, let's, uh, wow. And water is wet. Okay. Taking my time here. I have time. I'm not going to feel pressure just because I have a big view count, man. I'm just going to do it as always. It's an Ecotopia. I have my first spy, which is going to level... Mm. Control trade mission, capture cipher. Mm. <clears throat> Infiltration risk. We are gonna take Wolf. Eli, that doesn't sound very German. What? Eliza Banza. That's a, an SDAP guy. And we're gonna try to get Colab government on Russia because we have to kill Russia without taking Stalingrad. Rommel will give you a little more than 100 army XP every year over the other guy. But don't forget, he's also 200 army XP. He's 200, uh, uh, political power, I mean, sorry. So at 120, I can take the first guy, which I should, right? Like, you don't touch this anymore, right? Because you're not making any army doctrines right now. Like, I would love to take my silent workhorse, Martin Bormann, but... Show the Baltic focus tree? I don't try any focus trees, because I'm going to play them soon. Okay, we got Reisen. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, 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 mm. Okay, so I you literally have to take this because otherwise you will never ever have army XP, right? So it seems strong to take the infantry guy because you're sending infantry to Spain. And what does that mean allocated? What does that mean? Your maximum goes down. You can have 200 maximum and it goes down slowly. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Ah, yeah, you don't click me for bullets anymore? Is anything new in German Focus Street? No, 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 no. I don't think so. Why will it? I'm just gonna eat real quick, guys. Don't hate. Oh! He's just trying to kill me. What the fuck? Look at that. And now you get Silent Rock Horse? You're probably right. Oh, yeah. Let's get him now. Obviously, it will take weeks until people really know the meta here. We're going with the Silent Rock Horse. I just survived the hit. <laughs> okay, refer. I can't wait to design tanks. 30 FPS. Uh, I think it's just basic in Hoi 4, right? <laughs> Marconi sitting at home. 4K viewers, epic YouTube video, and Tommy's eating. <laughs> There's a wetter. There has always been a weather map mode. Wait, no, there is no weather map mode. No, there is no weather web... Compliance? Terrain? There is no weather, no. No weather map mode. I don't think it matters, though, because... Dude, let's be fucking real. You have 1k cast on an enemy. And suddenly it rains for 6 hours in Hoi 4. You gotta turn them up for 6 hours because it rains. You're, not, you're fucking not, okay? You're not gonna fucking do that. Maybe the one time weather matters in this game is when you attack Africa and there's a sandstorm. Sure. Show Italy focus tree. Oy, 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 look at that. Huh? You like that? Oh, I'm so hungry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm so hungry, brother. I need to eat. Eat, eat, eat. I'm punching the air. I gotta eat, man. Come on. What am I supposed to do? Thank you, low for 5k bitch murder. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The weather penalties are higher now. Yeah. Thank you for the 5k, brother. 
I know the winner penalty so high enough, but I still feel like like I'm gonna care now. Maybe you take Russia less when the snow falls. But we're gonna find out in the course of this game. So there is now a 1934 medium tank design. Dude, there's gotta be so much fury crafting. Thank you, Boeing man. There's so much fury crafting now. So this is a light tank two chassis, and this is a new thing and very early medium tank chassis. The tank, the medium tank is not much uh, slower. The production cost is not that much higher. The armor is almost more than double. The soft attack is nowhere. And they're both one, one, one steel. Why would you ever make light tanks here? Why would you ever choose to make a light tank two over a medium 34? You get nothing. You get one kilometer per hour. It's 1.1 faster. Hmm. Because of production cost? Not that much. It's so low, man. Like, I'm always imagining I'm playing multiplayer and I'm playing Australia or something. I'm not gonna make no light tank, you know? It's because you can't put a light SPG on a medium tank. I thought you can't put everything on a medium tank. I still don't fucking understand. Let's get that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Production cost matters when you design yourself. Like, can I put an 88 mil on a fucking tank? Can I do that? So wait, I have 100. So I can take another guy. Like, I'm, I'm gonna rush this so I have army XP so I can... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm taking a logistics. Uh, where is he? Werner von Fritsch. The reason I do this is just to get more XP so I can do Blitzkrieg. Thank you for the support, guys, man. Thank you if I miss any one. Um, I'm so sorry. Make light tanks very cheap and make proper mediums, I guess. I want to be dead honest. I, I don't understand anything yet. And I, that's why I just want to play. I just want to... I'm a guy learned by doing, you know? Like, I'm not a few crafter. I'm way too dumb for that. I have so much water in my mouth because I didn't eat all day. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel, thank you. Okay. Spanish Civil War's coming soon. This really felt like a new game and I love that. I think that's amazing. I would love to get the Captain of Industry now. 75, take him any second and build these. Oh, you also build railways uh, faster now, okay. That's an extra value for Civ guys. That's interesting. The civilian advisors make you build SIFs and railways faster, but civilian construction research doesn't make you make railways faster. Okay. For better guns for tanks, you need better artillery research. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I'm on it. Bruh, this is a lot to learn. Mm. Sorry. A railway is 170 production cost, while a sieve is 10,000. So railways are very easy to make. Railways are easy. Let's get the sieves, guys. Did they change Rudolf Hess? Oh yeah, he's changed. Yeah. Good. Wow. What 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 was what did he do back then? He gives you heavy fighter production less, which is stupid, because if you go to war, uh, he just dies over England, right? That's a little interesting. He just did PP and now he does heavy fighters, but he's gonna die early. Wow, I'm sorry for eating. Nice. I'm trying to finish my food, okay? So we can really do epic professional content for 4K viewers on Twitch. <laughs> Olympiad, we won. Don't need to read that. I can. Mm. There's a very cheap anti-submarine guy now. And this is so much more diverse now. You can diversify your nation so much more. And I'm taking another one because I want to watch Blitzkrieg. Oh. Ah, he also gives only 0 0.06. Wait, this is also this. Ah! This here? This is also this. I understand. Very nice. I get it. I understand now. 
Waiting for the nice mega campaign, Tommy. Yeah, I'm waiting for you to be cool. Thank you, Warning Boy, for 10. <laughs> Sitting here eating and you guys keep subbing. We're gonna go hot industry. I wanna have a good industry so I can show really the features. Thank you, Horny Boy, man. Thank you for the 10. Thank you for the support. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Get Furious for cheaper doctrines. Hmm. Get a theorist for cheaper doctrines. Mm, mm hmm. Mm hmm. You're right. By next taking Guderan, even though I feel like I should fill this first to make the maximum army XP, you then do not touch a single doctrine until you have the minus 50% production uh, uh, thingy. You never ever want to pay 100 army XP for a doctrine. You want to pay 85. Important. Thank you. See this. That's important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm taking the last one, which should be... Well, Rommel is sick, maybe. But maybe you just wait for Rommel later, because he's so insane. He he makes your tanks completely insane. So maybe let's just take a Guderian now. Heinz? Yeah, fuck it. We're keeping it open for Rommel. He seems just too broken, man. Your tanks are going to be so insane. Listen, man, I have 6k hours. I still don't understand this fucking Dutch trade bullshit. I think it's about who gets rights to trade with them later, but you have your own fuel, right? It's like... What? Established by the Treaty of Versailles in 1920, the Free City of Danzig has until today been an independent nation under the protection of the Polish state. However, with tensions mounting around the German-Polish border and the refusal of the Danzig government to allow Polish trade from the city port, the Polish government has declared today that Danzig is no longer a free city. Already, the streets of Danzig are being filled with Polish soldiers. Whoa! Whoa, that's quite aggressive! Whoa, man! These warmongers! Holy crap, man! I don't want to see this because I want to play it, but Clamp down on Danzig. I don't want to read this yet. I don't want to read this yet. I want to play them, you know God damn, that's cool Okay, more sifts Let's wait, let's wait it's not Christmas yet, guys. We're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting a second. We're waiting a second. No stress, no stress. Okay. Civil War! So, what are we sending you, sir? We are sending you... How about 3k guns? And... 300 support equipment. Let's go, let's support them. Uh, send volunteers? We already sent a diplomatic request. Three, two, one. I can only send two, which is cool. I didn't exploit today and make more. I'm really fine with that. I also like role playing and stuff. Let's really take our time. And we're sending two people to Spain. Uh, uh, I'm always having it available because of Victor Schütze. He's like a weak motherfucker. And I'm getting my first medium chassis. Send air two. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh... Oh, I don't have 30 divisions anymore. I can't send there. Well, I could send him my trash air. That nobody cares about. 18? Let's send him all the trash we don't care about. 72 Navy. And 40 JU-86. Let's go. I think they changed XP game from Land Lease. They, yeah, I, I, but how? Does anyone know? If I send guns to a nation that's at war, how much XP do I get? Is, is that lower now, or what are you saying? Did it not get changed? Like... Oh, 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 oh. I guess you can keep Rudolf if you go democratic and decide to keep some of the Nazi party members instead of Hang. Well, we're not going democratic, though. I just want to... We're still achievement hunting, guys. So I'm taking... Requires a skill level of four to become an advisor. Wait, if a general gets good in the game, 
He's then available as a sub. What? Günther von Kluge. Günther von. Where is he? I don't understand. He's not here. There's new buttons for land thesis? Dude, you guys are blowing my brain. What do you mean? Oh, there's new buttons! Percent monthly once. Oh, yeah, cool. Oh, there's new buttons, yeah. He gets added? I guess so, yeah. Okay. One sec, I want a little bit roleplay, a little bit. So we're gonna do Mr. Kruger. He's the only one that doesn't have defensive shit. Uh, headquarter. HQ Spanish Inter... Invention. <clears throat> that was wrong. What did I just do? That's just called headquarter. I don't fuck it. There's also new buttons. All the buttons are different now. Preferred tactic. What the fuck? I before I click on a preferred tactic, I I think you have to understand them a bit more, you know. And leading these is our friend. He's not a friend, Twitch admin. He's not a friend. Mister Erwin. We could go go with a fighter, but fuck that. And we're gonna have some fun. Let's go. You can see the railways and stuff. Man, this is like you have to relearn everything again. And I love that. I think it's amazing. Like, I don't know at all what's, what's going on here, man. And I love it. Open the general's XP tree. It's still the same. What are you talking about? It's just the preferred tactic. Why? Yeah, a lot of UI changes. They did a lot of UI. So let's level uh, some dudes here a bit. I'm getting a medium tank. Just these. Look on top. Look on top. So that's not important to you. You don't click that. It just shows you what this job he has. Like at the moment. He's in the high command and could be an armor guy in there. God damn, this is so cool. Requires Panzer leader. He already is an advisor. Oh, I think this means look. Ah. Imagine you take the worst, Friedrich Paulus, yeah? Stalingrad, mm. oh. And you level him really hard. Oh, fuck. Oh, what, what, oh ooh, ooh, that was wrong. Oh, that, oh, and he's gone for 38 days. Good. You level him really hard. You then can give him a spot in the cover, in, in the command. And I just fucking fuck everything up. Okay. That's what's going on, right? Okay, I have the medium tank, but I'm not, I'm not designing tanks yet. We're not ready yet. Let me just finish this food so I can concentrate more. Economy, economy. One is on vacation. Yeah, it's actually on vacation. And resource slot. Radio gives also a new stat. Uh, Dicker. You guys are seeing. Yeah, coordination. I still don't understand coordination. Coordination. I haven't seen it in the division um, templates. Mm -mm. It helps your initiative. Does anyone know if I see somewhere what 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 coordination does? Does anyone know? In the tank designer. There's no coordination, you lied to me. Holy crap, extra. Oh my god, that's so cool. We're not touching it yet. I'm not touching that yet. No, 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 no. Oh my god, that looks so fucking cool. Oh fuck. Oh, that looks so sick. Um no, I'm no free trade. Um Let's go with. Yeah, Rudolf Hess still gives you the 15% PP, man. You still can take him, and he pays for himself for, and before he kills himself. Free trade doesn't make that much sense, I think. We're going to war with everybody. Ah! 
I'm literally done eating in one minute. I'm very sorry. You can see it in the research tree. Yeah, you can, but you, are you dumb if you're dumbass caps lock? I'm asking what the fuck it does. Oh. Hey. Coordination increases the amount of damage dealt to a primary target in combat. Other damage is spread. The more coordination, the more focused damage I do. Otherwise, it's more splash damage. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Listen, so far I think this is amazing. Because you, like you fight France and you're like, oh, how should I fight France? I have to change my whip. And then, oh, I'm fighting uh, Russia. I have to change my high command. This is... So far I think this is amazing. It's not Navy. No, no. Coordination is not Navy. Okay, I'm done. I'm sorry. Wait. Oh. Sorry, so. Mm. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Final bite. There you go, Marconi. Latvia declared war on the. It's red as Zlatan <laughs> Greetings from Ankara. Axis Investments? I don't. I know nothing about that. He's communist, and he has investments from me. And he's a puppet of Russia. And I can. No, no, no. We want Rommel. We want Rommel. We're not touching this until Rommel. So let's just uh, micro the stuff. Man, there's a lot to learn now in this game. A lot to relearn. I love that. The Rudolf didn't kill himself. He flies to London, offers them peace. The story is so interesting. Didn't he crash then or something? But let's not talk about the story of Erwin, uh, of Rudolf Hess right now. I know you're really into that. But you know, I'm like into women. So let's not talk about Rudolf Hess right now. Okay, an extra resource slot. Um, I kind of forgot the meta. I've really gotten old. If I take this, I'm unlocking Rommel uh, soon. And why not? Let's unlock him, and the earlier I have him, the more he's gonna do shit for us, isn't he? Fuck it, let's do it. Uh, research slot, um... Let's get all the excavations out of the way. How much XP am I getting? I'm not really getting... It's not showing the XP I get from my land lease. Thank you, Gray, man. Thank you for all the support, guys. Thank you. Is Russia going communist or something else? That's a very good question, actually. Unknown focus, I wouldn't know. Oh. Oh, I'm not, I'm not gonna check it. We're gonna play Russia soon. Just follow the channel and keep watching. We're gonna figure everything out. Step by step, lads. Don't fucking worry. We're gonna check it all out. Okay, just leveling a bit here. Some army XP. Excavations are good. Economy looks insane. Um, I also have to do air. I have to do air too. Yeah, you need... How about... Oh! Ah! I only take army guys, so I have not a single air guy. Ah! You can't just go all in. Ah! Ah! You could just take Albert Kesselring, who gives you... 0.16 the whole game. But fucking Göring gives you 10% air superiority. Ah, that's so important, man. Let's take Göring then, just to get... Oh, that... The game is so different now. So different. Everything is a million times different. And like, I have to research anti-tank now if I want anti-tank weapons on tanks. Bro, this is so cool. I could do improved engine. Okay, I'm improving engine, okay. Whatever that means, I don't know. <laughs> I love this man, this is so good. This is so good. Upgrade armors for tanks too. I will in a sec, I will in a sec. You have so much more research now that you don't research doctrines anymore. What the fuck is this symbol? Oh, you can see a force attack now. You can see a force attack now in the UI. This is amazing. I, bruh. Chat, chat, we have to talk. We have to talk. I have to pause the stream for a second. I'm pretty certain at this point that I'm gonna do it. I'm planning between Christmas and New Year's Eve, 27, 28, 29 of December, to have a little big event. I'm planning 
a big game with teams for money. But this time, not one we once. But this time, the current plan is this. People make teams with free men, with free people. No, wrong. I still have to think about it. I will have two bolts here. One with really good players like Grisha and Denkus, and one with not so good, like um, Grisha and Denkus. I then pull them out, and they form groups of three. Then we balance teams, like uh, we're gonna draw them uh, um, nations, and then on like the 27th, 28th of December, we're all gonna meet for no step back, the teams will be done, like Germany, with Hugo, and South Africa, whatever, I don't know. And then they fight each other. I will live host that with like feedback gaming. We will host that. The winning team gets a thousand dollars on each. Everyone gets three hundred forty-three. I'm planning something like that. I'm still thinking about it, how to correctly do it. Uh, keep it in mind, boys. I'm planning that. If anyone is up for that, um, get ready. Don't text me yet. But if you want to form a team with someone, well, uh, no, 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 you're not allowed to form a team. That's why I'm drawing. So you fuckers can't do, fucking do teams. I'm drawing shit. But then the drawing could be unlucky, right? And unfair. Who knows? I don't fucking know what I'm doing. I'm also doing uh, new trains, apparently. Uh huh. Something like that. Uh, but I'm planning something like that. We're gonna have a big no step back multiplayer game for money. The money will be involved. It will not be as epic as the Hoi for International, but uh, we are on something, man. We're on something. I actually have to sit down soon and think about it. So. I'm, un I'm going to unlock Rommel with this. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting ready for Rommel. He's actually very expensive. Uh, don't forget to build supply ops before Barbarossa to increase supply there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I get... I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. Man, Spain not doing that good, right? But the Italians are here? Ooh. Not looking that good. Let's really help a bit. Okay, sorry. I have something to share with you. How's supply in Spain? Uh, I, 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 what the fuck? This, this looks like the dress code of a hipster, man. What the fuck? So, like... Um... I'm not getting information. I don't... Like, um... Just, uh... One sec, uh... Well, I'm not attritioning, so... We're good. Oh, I have a resource slot. Um... You have so much more time to research now. It's insane, man. Send more to Spain, dude. It doesn't work like that. Um, do armor plates next. We have time. Don't don't worry. We really have time. We have so much more time for research, and I love that. Big shout out to the development team. I think that is amazing. You know why? Because minor nations now can focus on something, man. You can really focus more now. Oh, I'm Australia. I'm doing amphibious tanks. I don't have to uh, waste research on that. I think that's mm -hmm. great. Thank you, Maxo. Um, let's do Reise Autobahn. Getting the highway, and I want to unlock Mr. Rommel. 200 pp but he gives you so much army speed wait i have my first army speed so wait it's only 45 cost reduction bonus land doctrines minus 50 percent what why do i have minus holy crap what why do i have why do from the focus tree where Ah, two times a cost reduction. Ah, that's now how you boost land doctrines. Ah, okay. Okay. Are ah, you get it? What? You get it instantly? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. You get that instantly. Holy, that's... It's weird, but also interesting, right? Like, what the fuck? Let's still limit it the whole game. Fuck it. Um, let's go with industrial concern. Cool. The second reform now. I'm just really scared that something like Germany is just gonna get too strong with stuff like that, you know? I'm scared of that a bit. Naval invasion order with floating harbor support. I thought this is really a different game now. I have to le relearn everything. I hope a lot of people come back to Hoi 4 from this. The Hoi 4 multiplayer community was very empty lately. Thank you, Dozer. You only played with little children. But now you fucked up, Rommel? Yeah, that was wrong. I did that wrong. Nobody cares about doctrines right now. I should have just taken Rommel. I get it. Let's be chill, yeah? I kind of fucked it up. I, I, okay, I get that. I get that. That was a bit wrong. Bro, these tanks are far away. Let's do basic armor protection. Enables welded armor. Fuck yeah. 
A big reason also why I play Germany today and not the new nations is because I, I Germany has so much industry which really allows you to see everything new. Man, Spain looks much harder to do now. Dude, there's fucking light tanks from Russia. What? Excuse me? Let's rush that. I thought there's light tanks? Dude, we're in trouble. Hi, hi, hi. Hire chief command instead of Rommel to save him. Nah, Rommel is too good, man. We gotta take him. Bro, I'm fucking dying to Russian tanks. Holy moly. Look how strong... I thought Spain is super strong. There's a million Russians. Sure. What the hell? Did they improve AI or something? <whistles> that does... Whoa, man. That does not look good. Improved engine? That does not look good. Thank you, Vigums. Damn. Look how strong Spain is. Portugal is helping Spain? Okay, now the communists are out. That should really help a lot. Let's try to help here. Right, some ah, let's actually stay here. Fuck it. Let's not really take that big run. The most interesting ah, thing to me go. is to really understand the vision meta. I, I think soon we're gonna see spread shields and stuff. Like, like, what width do I need against France? What width do I need against Russia? I personally feel like you're mostly in planes, which is once again 90. Sometimes you're in hills, which is 80. Which number divides by 80 and 90? Actually, no one does. Like 10, yeah, but 20 doesn't, 30 doesn't, 40 doesn't. 40 does well. 40 is very good with that. 10 is too low. 10 is too small, you know. Has to be at least above 20. A 40 is strong. So now let's imagine an army of 40 of us walks into this. Well, then they suck a little bit. And how about the forest? Almost two full 40 whiffs go into a forest. Still looks like 40 whiffs are strong. Still looks like they shit on stuff. Also, I like how I lost my leader. Why? Okay, I'm pushing just for XP. I hope that fighting still gives army XP, right? I think so. Pussy! I think 30 is the Dummy. best because when you so attack from two directions, you, you have on 20, not 90. Have True. Fun chat. I if love you attack you from all. two directions, have it's a 120. Night, but that's also divided by 40. 40 still seems really strong. But then, like, a mountain, you should never be 40, right? Hmm. hmm. Very interesting. So what does this do now? Create a variant of a medium and heavy tank chassis. Also, you get two armor tanks. You create a variant of basic medium tank chassis, Panzer 3. Create variation, create variation. It's a historical day. The Russians could just say no. We can see subs or donors. I have no idea why, man. But that's probably good because there's too much going on today. Marco Polo incident. And I'm just uh, saving up for Rommel. I'm going a bit heavy there. Oh! Right, Careful. Dude, I, I feel like AI has been improved. Take care of that. Communists are getting shit on. Dude, Alter. Uh, democratic Spain is insane. Preferred tactic select for Spain for Rommel. Yes, I, I, I don't fucking know. I don't know what to click here, bruh. Prefer tactic my ass. I've, I'd rather have this on... Okay, let's just level, level, level. Waiting for Rommel here. He's coming. War economy not available yet. Soon. I'm afraid that the eye can't handle the logistics anymore. Yeah, this looks very complex now. And the question is really... Yeah, you're right. If the eye can handle this stuff. But that's in every game, right? You never know if AI can handle stuff. Still making a little bit more. Sis, we have another research. You have so much research type now, time now. Let's do uh, improved arm protection. Enables armor upgrade value to 10. So there's a button when you design a tank where I can now make the armor up to 10. But then they become more expensive and stuff. I unlock new trains. I still don't understand the difference. Well, then let's check. It's that he's armored now. My train, my trains are more expensive now, but they're armored now. Okay, and I could already unlock good stuff. Let's do that a bit later. Bro, so many questions. Um, okay, let's get uh, MG 08 and Leichtaminenwerfer. Jawohl. My eyes can't handle it either. Uh, your trains can't get nuked by air, I think now. Or maybe just, dude, Spain is so strong. We're gonna totally lose this. Spain is untouchable. I didn't think I had to send five volunteers. 
But at least I'm in Homeland in a second. What? That seems like a bug. What? Pussy. What? Feeling what? Dank what? Für Dienst in Deutschland sold at Thomas. That that. What? Something weird happened, dude. But here he is, man. So fucking strong. Twelve army XP, and your tanks are unstoppable. But Alvin is da, friend. I, I don't know what just happened. Dude, Spain is getting wrecked, man. It's not even close. Franco died, armor, that's why. Air, it seems a, a nation has been... Um, came out of Franco and then it was like... The nation's gone. Dude, Spain looks insanely strong. What the hell? They look quite insane. Okay, I have a treaty with the USSR now. Let's go with... I don't want to unschluss yet and stuff. I want to really take my time and just really learn because this is a brand new game. Let's do one air innovations. Fuck it. Don't care. Wait, you also get. I'll read everything. You can now take Ritter von Greim. Imagine your name is Ritter. Like his pre name is Knight. Oh, I can take spirits now. Oh, oh, oh. Well, you don't have to do that yet. You can do that later. What happened to Lithuania? He became uh, a communist puppet from his focus tree. Man, this is so interesting. Okay, when artillery 2 is out, I'm gonna start making army. The Soviet took my demands. So how quick can I make a tank now? Let's check in a second. Well, Spain was a disaster. <laughs> I'm having mad fun though, man. This is like when I played the CK3 DLC, I was like, and like Hoi 4 DLCs are so full and ripe with um, content. I don't know if my economy law is right here. Limited export is more like late game. But I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm putting political power somewhere else. So we're going to make some mad artillery. I never like to make artillery one. It seems like a waste of time. Okay, let's be chill. Um, a lot of sifts still happening, which I like. I don't mind. I, I can take my time here. Wait, CK3 has DLCs? Yeah, the Viking DLC. Northern Lights or something? I forgot. There's some Viking DLC. Um, another question I had, they said that motorized is now important because they make supply drops. And they said if you improve your motorized, your logistics are better. But how do you improve a motorized? They don't mean mechanized, right? Mechanized supply trucks? That's a bit awkward. Let's also get uh, improved infantry equipment. All Baltic nations have new states. I know, I know, I know. Same as planes. It's not called motorized anymore, it's called trucks. Is it actually called trucks? Yeah, it's called truck now. Ah, yeah, it's called truck. What's up, Anthology Steel Brother? Yeah, it's it's trucks now. Wait, and before you... Nah, you can't. You can't improve trucks. Nah, 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 nah. Armored trains. What happened to Hugo? Some focus tree stuff. We're playing on historical, man. I, I couldn't even tell you. Let's start getting our first... Ah, you need cover rating. Carl Dönitz is very good with submarines, but he's much more expensive. But this makes 20% more rating with submarines. Bruh. There's also a new Polish border. Look at it. Pussy. You think I know Do the armor old war, man? Armor and air designers know. have new effects? So, what did I research? I have the new armor now. Wait, I thought I had a research bonus. I'm so confused. Two research bonuses for armor technology. I don't have a research bonus. It's because you got designs. Yeah, but where is that research bonus? Did Russia accept? I actually don't remember. Did they did. They did accept. No, I... Huh? They did accept. They did. They did. I don't have our... Uh, huh? What am I not seeing? Doctrine available. Don't need that right now. It's cool. I don't need to do that right now. You think it's a bug? He accepted? Russia accepted? Dude, you have so much research now, you don't know what to do with it, man. Jesus. Maybe it was used for armor. N no, 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 it wasn't. Also, I have two. Doesn't make sense. You researched it. Are you dumb or something, Alta? As a 
attack Czech Russia. No, no, no. Are you worried about the Soviet buffs they're gonna get during the winter? I don't even know what they get. Russia gets a bonus? Why will Germany not get a bonus from 350 SSR? What? Eh? Huh? Look at the focus and the tank. I create variants, sure, but there. Two times 100% research bonus for armor technology. That's what I'm looking for, you twat. And he said yes. If he get bugged, I have no idea, man. Hover over research time, maybe. No, I did, I did. It's still 600, I did. Look, no bonus. Go to research menu and hover over. Yeah, yeah, we did. Check armor production tab. Why would I check the armor production tab? What does... There is no... You don't research here. I, some, you guys are just saying anything random. Okay, artillery designer. But you have pens are free and... But I have them? What? Wait. First of all, I didn't get the to research. End of story. 1940 you say I have you say I have this now Basic medium tank and his chassis is where do you see the chassis? I don't fall I don't was geht, eh? Habibi Whoa, was? Where do I see I'm so confused pencil four and three Wait, so I can make this tank even though I don't have it researched? Is that what you want from me right now? Wait, that means Germany can get medium force by like beginning of 37. That is insane. They gave you bonuses on the stuff you already have anyway. No, 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 what are you saying? Why are you so weird? Bruh, two times research bonus for armor technology dot. It's not that hard. I, I, I don't understand. Is this a heavy a medium tank too? That would be completely insane. That would be insane. I don't know how to check that though. Armor tech on the right. It's basic. Where do you see that? Where do you see? Panzer 4 Ausführung A. Above drawing of tank, it says basic. Above the drawing of the tank. Basic medium tank chassis. Basic medium tank. Basic. So it's not. You guys are all. Dude, everyone who said that. You guys are so fucking dumb. These medium tanks is still the basic one. These two I just got from the focus is this. It's that one. But I didn't get the research bonus. I think I found a bug. That seems off. The two times was from Russia. You got. Dicker! Wo sagt das Russia, Junge? Da steht nichts mit Russland, du Vore! It doesn't that you dumb? Yeah, this line is for you, Tommy, and this line is then for Russia. Are you. Was ist mit dir, Mann? Let's just keep playing, man. It's just gonna make me fucking retarded. The fuck? You, you're just saying random shit? If you are researching technology while you do that focus, it puts both towards that research. It's a bug that's been a game for a long time. Well, I've never five hours ever seen that shit. What? At Tommy K Live, if you are what? researching tank technology while you do that focus, it puts what? both towards that research. It's a bug no that's been in the game about. for a long time. I'm gonna time. keep playing. To me, this makes no sense. It says you get two armor research, and I got no armor research. Boom. And maybe the most basic thing is also the right thing. And you guys are just talking shit. That looks like a bug. I will think. And I don't think any YouTuber played Germany yet. They all played Russia and stuff. So maybe I'm the first one to see that. But that seems not correct. Yeah. Man, designing divisions is very easy now. Because you just get make so much arm XP. Like, Germany gets so much arm XP. Okay, we're gonna get into designing stuff soon, but 
Dude, I'm not gonna have medium twos. They're they're bugged out. Maybe I could try it with this. Look, this gives me a bonus for the medium tank, but maybe armor technology means this? No, but I also didn't get that. I really don't understand. It's for plates? It's not! It's not for plates! You're the first perma ban today. You're the first Havo 24 hour ban. There's nothing on plates here! Do you see a bonus? Mach du Glotzen auf, Junge! Was ist denn? You either want to troll me or you're dumb. Both is unacceptable in this chat. Check the RT tab. Why would the art, why would I get an armor research bonus here? Also. <sighs> Freunde, 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 Freunde. Manchmal, maybe this one gives me the next medium tank. Sometimes, man, I really must wonder. Let's do anti-democratic raid real quick to get um, stability up. Does stability help logistics? It doesn't know. It's just about factory output, consumer goods, PP. Maybe it's for Marines. Yeah, maybe the armor research is for you researching how to count to 10. Brother man. What even is this here? Oh, I should probably get one of these. Oh, 10% division speed. But 10% attack is too good. Oh, that's so strong. Dude, 10 speed or... Oh, we could, we could be high speed Germany, man. High speed Germany is something that we don't know nowadays. That's for sure. Okay, let's see that if that gives me the tank. Oh, here we go. Artillery 2. Artillery 2. So, look what I got, baby. So that means... That also now means, though... Once again, we're learning. I just unlocked... The improved Howitzer and the medium cannon. What is the difference? First of all, the Howitzer is ultra expensive. Like, really expensive. And gives you a million soft attack. Okay, you lose speed, you get massive soft attack. And massive piercing. While the medium cannon... is about piercing. Wait, researching artillery gives me a piercing gun now? What? The Howitzer's like an artillery tank. And this one is about piercing people, if you want to pierce someone. You lose 20 reliability though, if you do that. And reli reli reliability is now a new stat. It's like really important. The lower the value of reliability, the more likely the equipment is suffering random failure accidents. Oh, so you can't just build an ultra transformer tank because reliability goes too low. AT is the one with the big guns. This is actually ultra interesting. Improved high velocity cannon, improved heavy cannon. With a hundred dicker. I only need a pack two to get 125 piercing on a tank. But then again, people will probably design. I, I'm so excited to see what people design. Like someone will be, I, I guarantee you some idiot called oh, Tank is Mimicus is going to design a tank that has zero movement speed, but it's just sitting behind the river and just doing nothing. Like a fat fuck tank that's just sitting there with infinite stats. It cannot move. It's literally a fortress and no one can break that. Guarantee you that's going to happen, dude. The question is, will the developers allow us to make a tank that fights that? Um, let's rush. Man, I have so much research time because there's no doctrines. It's so awkward. Does the reliability was always there, monkey? I didn't even say it wasn't there. I said you're the next. What's your name? What's your name, you fucker? Xenon004004, huh? Look at that picture. Look at that picture. You're fucking banned. I'm not doing this. I literally said it changed. Dude, I'm like a dad. I have to teach you guys how to talk. Uh, you guys are completely... So, time to design some stuff. So, you have to do a lot of different stuff now. Um, Standard Infantry 40. So, this is a 40 width. Uh -huh. Is that your symbols? Oh, that would have been nice. I will totally pay. Imagine Paradox like, hey man, you want to pay $4.99 for 50 new symbols? I would fucking pay. Dan Lind, if you're watching or whatever the fuck uh, is doing for right now, I'd totally pay, man. Thank you, Eglador. 
Okay, we're making 40 with because the plains and hills still are, and even forest is great for 40 with. Still making a basic 40 with. Peter Nicholson is the new guy. You gotta bend the memers, the only way to learn. Uh, you should do some anti air if you don't do any air. I will do air, I will do air. It's just a bit early. Division contains no armored forces. So we have our first basic infantry. And now I should have. Easy achievement. The SSSR under Giori Zyobnev. Born agitator. Looks like an easy achievement. Okay. You can invite to faction in Italy. Okay, interesting. So air innovation. Gives German air innovations. 10% uh, more battlefield. Uh, wait, it, it must say. It must say 10% less cost for battlefield doctrines. Yeah, nee. This is also a bug. This is wrong, they didn't fix that yet. Battlefield support doctrine plus 10%. That is wrong. It has to be like this. Cost reduction of land doctrine. This has to actually say 10% cost reduction of battlefield doctrines. This is a bit wrong. And let's see if it even applies. Swaraj movement. The Soviet civil war. And Italy wants me. Yeah, Italy. Sure, man. Let's join. Whatever. I don't care. We're at risk of Italy taking us over. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? Uh, let's get 10% uh, attack. I'm weaker than Italy? No. 28-27. I'm much stronger. What? So awkward, man. Italy carrying the game. What the fuck? So, uh, Russia's getting weakened. I don't know anything about Russia yet. We're totally gonna... Also, China gave stuff to Japan. I just wanna get the achievement, and I just wanna slowly learn. Uh, we're gonna play every achievement, every nation the next days. Check out the channel. I'm playing Age of Empires. It's gonna be really fun. Check out my Age of Empires streams. They're so fucking cool, man. They're gonna probably get me banned from for toxicity. And then replay some nice achievements. Which means Zomboid and Battleworld are a bit behind now. And some achievements are really gonna hurt, that's for sure. So I'm stopping Sifts now. And I'm gonna make... 24 infantrists. Um, first of all, my first infantry unit will be led by tank Erich von Manstein. 24, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we have our first... Uh, what? 5. And we have our first 24. Officer core roll. If he upgrades more, you can give him an officer core roll. You can make him a tactic. Like, he's infantry. He doesn't want to blitz. Bro, I don't understand this at all. I have to really read about this. Like, what? Fifteen percent tactic movement, attacker tactic damage, fifteen percent. Like this one makes my attack go twenty-five percent lower, but also the defender loses fifteen percent. And this means I lose. I get more. What? Aren't you tired of Age of Empires? No, I, no, I love the esports. I just am very tired of being so bad. I'm very sad that I'm so bad at the game. Okay, let's design our army. Günther Kuhle with Heeresgruppe A. Boom, 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 boom. Easy peasy. No, he is teaching these guys, and these guys are learning. I probably need a lot of artillery, 4K. I'm working on that, no problem. Do I need tungsten? No, we're gonna get that from Sweden soon. Tommy, you're smart and lovable. Stop lying, you fuck. Check armor research now. Oh, yeah, yeah. I I must have a research for medium 2 now. Yeah. But why did the other thing not work? I really don't get it. So now this is where Germany gets broken, as Germany should be. This is where you get your medium 2 in 1949. And then we design a tank, guys. Then I design a fucking infantry destruction tank. Uh, time for some air soon. I need fighter twos and cast two. Should you not use your XP to buy army spirits? Why? I don't need them right now. No one is at war. Why would I buy make a spirit? Look. No one is leveling up. I no, 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 no. I don't need that right now. That's a bit for later. Also, I feel like Germany gets infinite army XP anyway. Standard Infanterie 40. And they're 40 with, so they're good on... By the way, armored cars. So they're really good on plains, hills, and forest. I, I don't see yet why I should 
not go 40 with I, I don't see that yet is, is italy gonna oh i'm getting oh i get work on me in six mils is Italy gonna pull me into something no let italy do a swing i don't care thank you ranger Edu. hey fast man i lost 0 0.1 war support yeah dynamo though anschluss time oh anschluss i'm not joining the war no and we're getting a lot of economy from austria I have so many questions like imagine i want to build nice logistics here do i do railways or supply depots what about inf infrastructure infrastructure was always important wait infrastructure is now level five? Oh, infrastructure is now uh, ah now it's actually back Jesus Christ. there's only level five infrastructure now uh-huh uh-huh uh -huh. Man, this is oh, I love this right now. I'm really having fun. Let's get some more stability up. War economy is coming. My economy looks good. I, I don't know how many trains you need. I don't know. 25% build tension. Yeah, it's unhistorical. It's cool. I don't mind too much. Tateshi to Italy. Ah, too expensive. I need my PP for other stuff. Dude, I have infinite army XP. What the fuck do I care? In this new meta, you have infinite army XP if you play it right. And here we have a very, very strong infantry. Basic infantry, like I always do. The question will be the fucking tanks, mates. And I got my first dive bombing. Cool. Okay. Such a different game. I'm playing on historical, so Hugo did some kind of focus or something. Italy is also losing against Greece. Okay. Uh, when research for anti-tank so big... Tank killers can be built. In a sec, in a sec. First, we're making artillery tanks. Okay, refineries come later. Let's get computer machines. Also, it's time to uh, unlock departments. In my brain, I always forget there has been a DLC with spies. I always forget to make them. Chief of Navy, I take the submarine guy later. And now comes the mills. That's interesting that in infrastructure is now 5 and not 10. You're not doing collab? I can do that later, man. Fuck off. Ba ba ba. Oh, he also stopped because of the Russian war. I still don't need shit. He can suck it. I have some spice inside of me, so I'm just defending. But yeah, I might have to do collab government for um, that former Reich Commissariat. Fuck that, it comes later. And Anschluss time. Maybe Sephora says no because it's unhistorical. <laughs> and I have to produce a lot of artillery, which is going on easy, better. man. And here we have Erste Infanterie Manstein. Boom, boom, boom. I wish they would add more symbols here, like a one or something. I think this is a really bit annoying. Like, just give me a one. Ugh, uh. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, okay. Fortzehnte. That's re yeah, it's roleplay correct. For all the wearables watching. So that's one main army. I have to get into some air soon. There's a mod for that. Okay, I got my department. I'm gonna start decrypting France. And I'm gonna heavily invest now into spies. A lot of mills are hitting now. I really don't know how many trains I shall do. I have no idea. Um, tank research. Oh, um, uh, soft attack guy. Am I in? And in 177 days, gentlemen, we're showing the highlight of this new DLC. We are going to take a look at designing our first medium two artillery tank. And I have no idea what's going to happen, man. Manstein should lead the 11th army. Sure. You should lead a better life, man. No one cares who the fuck he led in real life, man. What do you think my sponsors are thinking? Oh, Tommy K is role-playing exact Nazi armies, man. What is that with you, man? He's at war for Romania now? Wait, what? Oh, he took Greece. Ooh. Oh, he can't reach... He can't reach King... Uh, what is Lithuania? The Kingdom of Lithuania. What the fuck, man? Thank you, real. Thank you. I'm so confused. What's happening now? Okay, I'm taking Blitzkrieg. Germany is still very strong on doctrines, obviously. Radio interception... Number two. Anschluss happening. And before they say no, that would be ultra awkward. And I'm producing artillery like a madman. 
Um, more cars are coming in. Everything looking good. Some Aeroplane Knights. You joined the war, Tommy. Oh, I did? Oh. Oh, I'm at war. Why would I lose war support? Because of an offensive war? What? Oh, I joined a war which is not touchable and... Oh, money. Oh, dear. Let's make Bulgaria join us. He's democratic? Oh. Okay, we're fucked now. And we're always fucked. It's pff, I'm used to it. We're always fucked. Am I not gonna have strikes now? No, Germany doesn't get strikes from that. Uh, three party pact. Signed pact. And Anschluss is happening. Welcome, Austria. Welcome, welcome. I need you to be standard infantry. And I am taking nothing. Uh, we got a lot of mills from him. Um, let's go up on this and this. Support equipment also. And then it's time to get a little bit into that. Even though I would really like to have Fighter 2s and Cast 2. 3 party pack signed. USA is a bit mad. A lot of fucking weird shit happening. Interception group. Okay, a lot is happening now. Interception group, interception group, blah, 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 all that stuff. I am doing Eastern Claims. I lost two divisions here? What? You stole two divisions from... Did I? Put a squeeze on him. Where did... What? I lost two divisions on Manstein? How? How is this possible? And we're training our second army under Fedor von Bock. Fedor von Bucky, 18th army. Historically, Tommy, he was. 18. Armee von Bock. Kein Bock. Sehr gut. Uh, I need some defenders. Um, mm -hmm. Military. Yeah, you still have to probably use military police in this game. Let's do that too. Military police. So much. This game is so much more complex now. Like with every DLC, it gets so much more complex, doesn't it? So I'm deleting this and this. And this will be my tank. And this is my garrisons. Garrison. Blah, 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 blah. I'm out of army XP, which shouldn't be such an issue in this thing. Making these 10 moves in a second. Okay, not to do, man. Not to do. Man. What's up, Lex? To Fake Frontier Free. I hope you're enjoying. No step back. You should consider using Spice to sway Hungary to join the faction and wait from there. Give Hungary to Sway Slovakia, blah, blah, blah. I'll just kill everyone. Thank you for the tier free, man. Iron Man mod that adds hope like 100 symbols. You, you can invite to your faction. To Hungary. Hungary. Oh, there you go, Lex. We're done. <laughs> There you go. And now we could invade. Ah, now we can invade. Well, Munstein has to show what he's got now. Let's have fun. Go, go, go. I have to still call him in, right? Staff office plan. You see everybody's plan now. Wait, wait, wait. Well, till I come. Wait for me to help you. Why is he not? Huh? Why am I not going? I could have sworn I pressed the button. I could have sworn. So many questions. Um, Messerschmitt. Need to go into air soon. We're gonna design a tank soon. Thank you, Burks. And we're gonna help Hungary. Let's stabilize the border first. Give it time. Uh, you can build in your allies, I'm pretty sure, so check that. Well, I... No one cares. Yeah, I can build in... That's that's new. Oh, that's new. That's cool. You can now build... That's so important that Paradox did that. Oftentimes, you, there will be bugs where your allies just kill all your supply. That is very well done by Paradox. Very well done. Very well done. Really good. Okay. Well, it's only two infrastructure. Should be quite easy to make this level five. Okay. Concentrated industry, massive bonuses everywhere, man. Don't really need radios. Oh, this is far out of time, but I need them. And we're ready. Three, two, one, go. I don't know what. Well, dude, this feels, like, feels, feels really like this game is harder now. It's not just a joke anymore. Um, and cast two. We're still breaking through this thing. Yeah, we're still breaking through though. Yeah, we're breaking through. Give it time. It's because you have no supply. Abstand halten. Yeah, but what are you gonna do about this, I wonder? What am I... So what do you do then here? I have to build supply depots or something? It's 20,000 construction, Habibi. So... Build supply, it's 20,000. Yeah, I'm not breaking that at all. Germany weak, man. Higher level railroads. So, wait, wait, wait. This is actually really important now to learn. 
zero supply. So how will they understand what you want from me? Infrastructure population. You don't have auto revisions. Yeah, it's slowly coming. Don't worry about it. Click on supply hubs. Uh, what? I'm now upgrade railways. Allied supply. What? Now made motorized supply here. And I'm now using motorized there. But do I have does everything have to be motorized or? Okay, I'm upgrading railways. Do they like level 20 or something? How much? 15. So just because of supply, I can't take Romania now. What I what I'm missing is back in the day you click this and then it said you have a bottleneck infrastructure in blah blah blah, and now it's a bit harder to understand what the fuck they want from me. Okay, I'm building a lot of supply. I think supplies bad in Austria. So yeah, what do I do about this though? Like, why can't I do motorized here but no one else? I I really don't know what's happening. Thank you, Ghetto Lenny. Upgrade railways. I am, but I can't send them more trucks. I can't do that. Bigger trains? I have the biggest trains right now. I'm upgrading. Oh, oh it's getting bluer. It's getting bluer. Demand Sudetenland. Lithuania folds. By the way, I have to do some stuff. Tenworth. And with shovels. My tank is done in 55 days. Thank you, Pi. There's only one railway to Budapest. Okay, that's what I have to learn. Like, this railway here is important. And I'm... I have motorized here and I'm upgrading Vienna. Like, Vienna is... I already finished that. Wait, what? Didn't I just upgrade Vienna? Is it already done? Click on that horse. Oh, there! Oh, 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 oh. Ah! Dude, I have to click on all of them? That's really annoying. So, wait, I have 7,000 trucks. So, what happens now? I just lost 200 trucks. I lost nothing. So, wait, am I supposed to play like this? I just do this everywhere? You can't do double trucks? Oh, what? This is so fucking deep now. Look, I'm doing double trucks now to my army. Does that help in any way? No, they're still dying. No, no. Uh, uh. I... Yeah. Uh. And it doesn't even cost you many trucks. I didn't lose shit. Vienna is the bottleneck. I wish it would tell you what you could do, you know? I'm too dumb for this. There's only one railway coming from Rina. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm upgrading that. Ah, here's Vienna. It was bugged. It was down there. Oh, I'm building Vienna now. Okay, now comes the Vienna Railroad. Man, that is far more complex now. A lot of multiplayer games are gonna be like, what? Um, hmm. Political loyalty, pencil trade. I I guess I'm taking bold attack for now. So many questions, man. Connect the free tiles in the south with a new railway. What? Connect? They got what? Connect something? I have no idea what to talk about. Build a new route. What? Build a new route? Build a new route. That's not how that works, boys. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> what the fuck is this bullshit? What? What the fuck? What? 
And that's like really easy. <laughs> what the hell is this shit, man? <laughs> Fuck you, that's way too complex. I don't have the brain for that. Do that from Austria. But I'm building up the Vienna Railroad. That must be worth something. <sighs> south of Austria to south of Hungary, free tiles. South of Austria to... Like, is this a connection? Does that... Like that connects it or something? Let's just... you can make multiple railway routes to get more supplies Vienna as yeah, they're built very fast, though, man. Routes. They're built very fast. What does the one mean? This is what they're building right now. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm playing fucking train simulation. South Austria. I don't know what you want from me, man. I have no idea. Vienna is like really strong. I have no idea what you want from Graz. Um, Graz. By the way, this game isn't even out yet, and you guys know everything already, man. Like, jeez. I wonder like if landing one? with paratroopers would disable the supply hub. Yeah, Maybe probably, Fallschirmjäger like, are the new Metatommy K thinking. Hey, what, it's free. What? Hey, it it goes up in numbers. Like it's a free now, but I'm not building that. I I genuinely don't know what's going on. I have no idea in the world. Fully decrypt the fronts and I have the tanks. Okay, let's chill. Let's brief. Everybody, let's brief. Are you breathing, guys? Are you breathing? Good. I need you to brief. I need you to brief. <laughs> it's just logic? Yeah, yeah, you guys know a lot about logic. Um hmm, let's take Bloom and Boss. The numbers represent their level, level one being the lowest. I make that higher, but where is that being built? I don't... It's part of Vienna Transnubia? What? Delete all the infra you are building in Germany so the railroads show higher. Man, shut up. There's nothing here. Upgrade the supply hub. It's 20,000 fucking... Hey, did they just say no to Sudetenland? Build a supply center in the front. That's 20,000 production. Is anyone listening to me? That will take forever. That literally takes forever, man. Just for Romania. Wow, that is really... Like, what? Dude, they didn't take... Oh my god, they didn't take Sudetenland. Little Entente has been... What? I have no idea how the supply shit works right now. I have no clue on earth, man. What the fuck is happening here? What's the name of the armament? Yeah, I'm being declared war pawn. I didn't do shit, man. Everybody is a fucking warmonger, man. I'm literally playing peaceful. What the hell is going on? Democratic Germany, let's go. Democratic Germany will actually work for this achievement. They're even force attacking. I'm still in dire need of artillery. I'm working on it though, hard. I have no idea how the supply stuff works. We will probably find out one day. Okay, let's get some nice XP here again. Some green army goes in. Built a whale ray across the front line. I have no supply issues on my front, so I'm good. Man, this, I, this supply stuff is gonna take a while. Like all these buttons and, and here, click this and that and boop and bop. Like in multiplayer, if I don't, if I don't click allied supply everywhere, my allies just die in my own country or what? Okay, we're going through. Naval effort. It's ahistorical. I'm not going to really do World War II anyway. This is really awkward right now. 
Orange army should not push. Ah, army XP though. Anti-democratic and anti-communist raid. I'd love to finish this war, but yeah, I don't understand that stuff yet. Maybe there's a button somewhere where you can toggle them all. You think so? But where? Toggle all. Like, I have to click that everywhere in multiplayer? That seems insane. I didn't design a tank yet. No, I actually have to. I actually... Oh, I could actually make a tank right now. Let's just finish that war real quick, because I'm really... Like, what the fuck? Zuhören. Let's finish that war real quick. And then figure out how to get supply against Romania, man. Because I don't know for shit, man, how to do that. Kampfgruppe gives uh, 10 orc to everyone. You can select them by dragging over them. No, you have to click everywhere. Attach is a slow thing. Yeah, maybe there's a button in the logistics window. What is the logistics window? No, there is no... We will find out. Give it time. Soon people with a brain will play this and they will be like, Yeah, man, look, I know what's going on. Oh, cast research. Ooh, cast design. Let's do cast. Okay, we're slowly winning this war, though. I, I, I got really confused, though. I, I'm a little bit like, what? Let's get more dockyards for late game. I'm a little bit like, what? How would I... Like, in that situation, we just had you with Romania. How would I correctly create more supply for me? I built infrastructure, railways. Vienna is the greatest railway ever now. I will have to occupy this, which sucks ultra hard. Probably gonna give some to... Hungary. Yeah, fuck it, he's my friend. Um... Oh, Romania has gone too. I just probably make a puppet, huh? Puppet? Oh, uh, really? Do you really have two fucking border gores here? Oh, for fuck's sake, mate. Do you really have two border gores here? Is that Here's really a short what you need video to do? explaining the basic mechanics of the new logistics system. Sorry, what? Keep up the great content. Thank you. I'm gonna Tommy. watch that right now. Eleven minutes. I'm gonna watch that straight up. Yeah. One sec. One sec. Uh, one sec. I don't want to border war, uh, border war this because that is the worst thing in the game. So I'm Romania is my puppet, which means fuel. I need tungsten from Sweden. I need rubber from Malaya. Okay. Wait, we're, we're gonna pause this. What the fuck, man? Let's learn. Let's really learn. What the hell is going on? Hello everyone and welcome back to the Hearts of Iron Ford Dev Diaries. This time we're going to be looking at the long-awaited 1.11 update, as well as some of the content that will be coming in the next unannounced DLC later down the line. Which defo doesn't equal the Soviets? So as usual, as we this do... This is ultra quiet, we'll isn't he ultra quiet? I can't hear him. Through everything the dev diary has inside of it, some of the comments that come with it, and some of my smaller thoughts can, as we progress on it. Let's begin. So after the April Fool's Dev Diary, we had last week's series released. The Eastern Front was... Oh, I fell asleep. No, I'm not watching that. Sorry. I tried. I tried. I tried. Um, okay, so we won that war. Good. We are now... This. Good. Now. Now we are going to take a look at something, boys. I still don't understand how the supply worked there. I have no clue in the world. Like, what? I have no idea, man. By the way, don't I occupy this shit now? Oh, fuck. Uh, civilian oversight, sure. Use default, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need military police. 
Hungary takes a strike of borders. Border gore. Ah, that penis hurts, man. Come on. So, gentlemen, it's time. Improved medium tank chassis. Thank you, Casper. Dude, something really weird just happened. You're gonna be like, tell me what's wrong with you. I feel like I dreamt this once. Like, chassis existing in. Like, many years ago, I had a dream about this. Anyway, no one cares. Okay, what the fuck? Medium tank Alpha 1. It's a medium tank. And now shit starts. This is the model, how he looks. Oh, cool. They're the same. Okay, so. Oh, oh, holy shit. Okay, let's, let's, let's. Whoa. Okay, uh. Auto design. Safe as new. Upgrade all modules. Auto upgrade at all times. I have small. Alter, was? Habibi, Junge. Was ist das denn alles? Oh. Bruh. Okay, uh, first of all, what did I unlock? I unlocked the level 2 and how witzer. I wanted how witzer on that. A level 2 how witzer. Which is uh, an improved medium howitzer. Then this is the turret. Alter Schwede, what the fuck? This is insane. Why are we in slow mode? What's. Uh, who even cares? One man turret, two man turret, and a three man turret. But what you lose is speed? And 25%, if you do one man turret, you lose 25% soft and heart attack. Production cost goes up, but you don't lose anything. Reliability, 115. Reliability, why would you never, why would you not take the free man turret? Why wouldn't you not do that? There's like almost no negative from it. You lose some speed. Secondary turret, radio, and special modules. A basic radio for 25% more defense and breakthrough. Special module, oh my god, this is so cool. Smoke launchers? Heavy machine gun, small cannon. I feel like I'm playing Battlefield. Additional machine guns, armor skirts, extra ammunition storage, sloped armor, plus 20% armor. Thank you, Cybershot. Wet ammunition storage, smoke launchers. I have what? I can't do all of this? <laughs> Bruh, um, what? Thank you, Knupo. The question is, honestly, this is very important. Chat, what do you think? What is the reliability you should go for? Like, should you ever go below 60 or something? There has to be some kind of... Uh, there has to be a number where you feel like I shouldn't go under that. And I think, in my opinion, it's 80. 100? The lower the value, the more likely equipment will fail. Can I race? Select the tag. What the fuck? Can I race reliability somehow? Armor type. Cast, riveted, and welded. Alter, what? That only gives more production cost. Alter, plus 40 armor. Thank you, Hash. 20% for historical reasons. This might help. I'm not clicking videos, I'm too dumb. What? The, the armor storage gives you 15. Yeah, this gives 15. And now I have 131 again. Now, I want a machine gun? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I want a basic raid. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> Sloped armor. Production cost goes to heaven. Armor skirts. Let's do armor skirt. Suspension. I don't know what... You can now choose if you want 20% speed, breakthrough, or bonus reliability. Dude, my speed is massively improving with the Christie suspension. Holy shit, man, what? Then we have... Minus... Ah, riveted armor is very bad. That, that means production cost goes low, but you lose 20 armor. Fuck that. Then you can have 20% more production cost, but get massive armor, or... You get 40 armor anyway. Wait, what? Huh? What? I get this for free? 
Look at this, welded armor, 40% more armor, two defense, two breakthrough. I lose no production cost, I lose no reliability, like bam. But now this, and engine, engine. Diesel? Whoa. Looks like petroleum electric is the best. Whoa. Oh, thank you, Christian. This is like, what? Diesel engine is 25 reliability, two fuel. Um, the gasoline engine gives you speed. Yeah, the gasoline engine gives me so much speed. Diesel is like, this thing will never break, but gasoline is like fast, fast, fast. And petroleum electric is slow, but massive bonuses. Defense and breakthrough. And minus 50 reliability, so gasoline seems to be the best. Thank you, Spooky. I have too much reliability though, right? So I can turn off the 15% reliability special module and just go with something else. Extra ammunition storage puts me exactly at 99. So is this good? Because this is 99%. Th this, this has to be good. You can't do double radio, no. Yeah, you can't, which is cool. I like that. You can't do double. Oh, it's because you never did engine and armor. Ah! Oh, ho, 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 ho. This is so fucking good, man. So let's go back to um, the wet armor. Oh shit. Bro, this is so cool. There's gonna be so much fear crafting about this. Bro, that's so cool. Dude, I have 100 armor already in 39. There's gonna be so much fear crafting about this. Take these lantern? Why? No, this is fine. I don't want him to be. Look how fast he is. This tank is insane. 100 armor is nothing. 83 armor is a lot where I come from, man. 10 kilometers an hour. This tank is insane, Alter. Jeez, man. But the cost is insane. The thing is, I have, I have so many hours. Is 27 a lot? Yeah, I have no idea. Dude, I'm doing that guy. Look at that. Holy shit. Medium tank, one blitz. Fuck, man. It doesn't have good piercing, but it's supposed to be an artillery tank. Pussy. The only thing you need to remember wait, is you can only, only go as fast as the wait, motorized what? or mechanized. Wait, 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 what? Look, infantry has 250 soft attack and this tank has 40. Wait, wait, what? Pussy. <laughs> wait, 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 Come on, Tommy. Wait, wait. Make huh? eco-friendly tanks. We what? know you don't believe in nuclear, believe in this. Ah, it's just one tank in a battalion. It's different. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that was dumb. Okay, we're designing him in a sec. That is so interesting, man. So cool. Uh, um, medium core blitz. They have the blitz tanks in them. So, I want to do some heavy tanks later in the game. I, wow, man. I so, wow. Uh, I, I never decrypted Russia. It's so crazy, man. What's going on? Let's go speed four. I'm getting a bit overwhelmed. Okay, I have 100k guns. Not enough XP. I'm getting XP. Imagine 125 piercing tanks just still fucking you. Yeah, sure, but I have 100 armor and 39, which is a bit uh, low supplies. Oh. Man, was ist denn mit diesen verfickten supplies, man? Wie more supplies, supplies? Who the fuck understands the supply system? Jeez. And before I have no supply here, well, let's figure it out. This is a training match. I need to really learn what the fuck they want from me. This mental change Slovakian forts. Okay, I will have a lot of fuel from Romania. So let's see if anyone has problems with that. Dude, every, everywhere there's a problem. Habibi, what's this assassin? Every... <laughs> what? I'm busy doing supply the whole time now. I do nothing else even anymore. What? And what? That's always a problem. Dude, I, I, so and now, what do I do about this?
What? I just lost my whole hind What? I lost my whole industry. Well, why? What? what? What is happening? You just look at it? Yeah, I feel like just limited. Like, what? No one understands that shit. My industry is falling apart here from this. Bro, fuck this. I'm going back to industry. I don't understand at all what's happening. Because we're at war. Uh, check the nearby supply depot and hover over it. I see a red number which says the Berlin Stettin Railroad. Be uh, uh, bro, I have no idea. I have less than 1k hours and I'm still better than Tommy. Bro, man, you, you. What the fuck, man? What's wrong with you, man? Click to motorized. Boom. I mean, why won't you just, just do, do this everywhere? I have infinite motorized. But now I have to click everywhere and do that myself? That seems ultra fucking annoying. Like, look, I that that seems ultra annoying, man. That seems really not like this is supposed to be. Well, you lose, like, nothing. I have 10k trucks. I lost 1k. It got greener. Hey, it got greener. It got greener. Looks like you have to always click that everywhere to make trucks everywhere. Awkward. I'm very weirded out by this. In the army screen, you can put motorized for the army. In the army screen, you can put motorized for the army. What? No idea what this guy is talking about. No idea in the world. Thank you, Yisek. Does it take fuel to have trucks for supply? Probably, yeah. I have zero consumption. Your trucks take no fuel. Huh? <laughs> what? Your trucks take no fuel. Daily zero consumption. So I I can just do this. Huh? And so I just do this everywhere. But look, I have to click everywhere. That's so annoying. That seems really weird. I really don't get that. There has to be a button to do that all at once. That is... Wow. That cannot be... I must be missing something. Click from general. Click from general, Aldo? What? Click from general. Everybody say something random in chat. On army as under general. What? On top? Oh. Motorization Achille. priority. Ah. Ah. Hey, chat. Woo. Dude, my whole economy is dead. I can't go to war for at all for right now. I'm ultra at war. I'm ultra. I can't do anything. That me for build bullshit, a uh, historical killed my industry. I gotta read chill for a second. Ah, that's well, well seen, guys. Well seen. Yeah, I, I just I can't do anything because of that a historical war. I got me for builds, and my whole industry is dead. We're gonna be a bit patient here, a little bit patient. I generally have to literally be patient. I can't do shit right now. Yeah, the builds were bugged out because I went to war for mania. That's a bit. Mm. So we're gonna be patient. Late though, we're gonna be uh, historical. Oh, shit, man. When am I getting my industry back? Oh, when? 8th of December. Ugh, let's go speed 5. I can't do shit anyway. Ay, 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 they hurt my industry hard. Ay, ay, ay. Who forces on French border? Well, I'm not going to no war right now, man. Chill your tits, man. West wall. Convoys. I'm not even making any tanks. I'm, I'm doing this very wrong. Am I not? Also, I have like no air doctrines. And I don't really know what to do about that. You're not even building an army yet. Oh, I don't. When you have 5k viewers, there's a lot of monkeys, man. That's for sure. On your medium tank, you can change a turret type called fixed superstructure, which allows you to do one level above your gun, which means a medium tank with a fixed sub can allow you to have a heavy tank weapon on it. Okay, I'm not touching anything until my industry is back. I ain't touching shit yet. 
This was a really weird build. Pacifist Germany the logistics system looks overly engineered for a game. It looks hard to understand. Who did that warn Poland? Poland declared war in Poland. Wait, wait, what? No. Polish war on... Thank you, Life Customs. I, uh, okay. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Lithuania puppet to Poland with focus. What? <laughs> Let's give it a sec. Yeah, I really, I, I lost all my industry to something unlucky. It's, it sucks. I can't do much about it right now. I would like 24 more against France. I'm gonna go very late for World War II. I have time, though. Pfft, who's stopping me? I can afford that. You can actually, how did you know that? You can make their priority here. That's really interesting. I feel like you never have issues though. Like mostly in this game, you have infinite trucks anyway. And like, who's going to stop you, you know? Description. So I can't do shit right now. A supply up is some sort of checkpoint. With a specific range, for example, upgrading Westfalen. Want that supply in Poznan to supply depot. Really important. They're very hard to build though. I just upgraded all my... Um, I just got uh, massive upgrades here. Fighter and cast 2. Oh, that was a mistake. Hanun folder. Um, a lot of things are available right now. Let's uh, oil processing and rubber. Um, and more computers. Who's this? All right. What? Oh, Romanians. I don't care about that. Focus wise, uh, it's just random stuff. I'm really. Right. I know I'm playing awkward here, man. It's really weird, but I have to wait for my industry to be back. Mifo builds just killing us here. I really can't do much. I can still do Danzig or War, right? Even though he's... I need more manpower in the field. Yeah, I'm working on that, sure. So here we have the French defense. With Heeresgruppe B. Heeresgruppe B. Oh, shit. You can't go back. Heeresgruppe B. Boom. Bam. Bing bong bang, right, boom. And they're a bit more defensive. Actually, no, offensive doctrine. Call. Who the fuck is call? Is that a friend? Is that a? Is that an Austrian? Okay, you get an Austrian guy now. These guys defend against this. Uh, defensive guy Maximilian von. Let's take court student. And this is um. Don't worry, we're role playing a bit. So let's call these guys Panzergruppe D. Elfte Armee. Elfte Armee Student. Okay, I have to make that. Everybody's trained, right? These guys need training still. I know this is awkward, man. So we have an Austrian guy now. Leading... It's it's a historical. These Romanians are heavily annoying to me. I don't care about that shit. 100% stability. And we for are gone. And we have an industry. Okay. Give it a sec. I'm building shit up. I have zero tanks. <laughs> and I think I could do Danzig or War here. And and he's not gonna get guaranteed because he's some other guy. Let's check that in a sec. New signals. I need MP. Monarchist Netherlands. No, no, no. Man, everything is so awkward, man. I will have to really learn a lot here. If you delete the remaining divisions, they go back. Yeah, but they just give it back to you. It's annoying. It's a good supply video. I will check that in a sec. Okay, let's actually... You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're right, you're right. This is actually official and not really boring. Okay, let's check that. Because I don't understand it at all. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Leith, and you might know me from The Social Streamers, a YouTube channel where we make a wide variety of grand strategy content. Today, it's my pleasure to be collaborating with Paradox Interactive on a series of five videos to show you the new features of the No-Step Back expansion for Hardspine 4. Today, we're going to cover the all-important topic of logistics. This DLC doesn't just introduce a new feature, it drastically changes the face of the game, directly impacting how wars are fought and troops deployed. Seeing a truck snake into enemy territory while seemingly enjoying bountiful supplies perhaps wasn't the most accurate representation of World War II. True. But this changes with the new supply system. With this system, you need to be cautious when advancing deep into enemy territories. If you were to be so successful on the advance that you outrun your supply lines, then you're destined for disaster. So how does this work? Supply flows from your capital through supply hubs like this one. How much supply an area has can be seen in what could be argued to be Paradox's most gorgeous map. The red areas are those without supply, whilst the brighter blue are those with the best supply, owing to high levels of infrastructure. 
When considering this potential supply, factors such as distance and terrain must be considered. Additionally, the maximum supply flowing from the capital depends on your industrial base. Now you understand the basic concept of supply, it's time for us to look at exactly how these supplies are transported to the front line. This means we need to talk about trains. I'm going to put it bluntly. If you don't have trains, your troops won't have guns to fire. It's as simple as that. Your trains run along your network to fulfill supply needs, as you can see from watching them on the map. In the supply map mode, you can see exactly where trains run in your country or other countries. The you know what I'm always thinking of? Uh, you know, you guys know I'm a big Japan fan. How does Japan invade China and how do you supply that? Like you need a train from Korea to... I really bit. wonder. Let me give you a scenario. You're lined up on the Soviet border and you see the dreaded low supply icon. You can handily highlight your troops to see exactly where the issue is. Hovering over a supply hub will tell you what exactly the limiting factor is, such that you can adapt and make the necessary changes. You can even build new railroads to ensure the front line is fully connected. Of course, trains can also be used as powerful weapons, but I'll talk about that in depth in a future video. If you lack the trains that your logistics network needs, you'll suffer proportionally. You can build trains like any other equipment, though you can always steal civilian trains from your people in a one-off, one-sided deal. As the need for better and more capable trains becomes pressing, you can research new train variants to suit your needs. There is another method of delivering supplies that's been around since the dawn of time, namely rivers. Rivers act like basic railroads, provided you're controlling oh, both sides. So if the enemy rail. pushes you behind a river, sure, you have a nice defensive position, but you lose the logistical edge of using that river. Thank you can you no longer simply run for the nearest YouTube. river's cow behind. Whoever you have to decide editor, if the position is worth taking over the advantage that the river Glad I get to see This is just one aspect of war that you have to As I mentioned, there are many ways in which the system offers more in-depth strategy than playing advances. If you want to find a form of destroying your industry, then you're going to hate your dreams of lines eviscerated by logistics trends. One way to halt an enemy advance, nor spearhead your own, is to use your air force to target enemy trucks and trains without causing widespread devastation to factories that you intend to repurpose. Does CAS now have an order to, to uh, attack enemy railroads? As previously mentioned, you can't afford to outrun your supply lines. What if someone has green air on me and he just attacks my railroads with CAS? Am no. I just not, I'm you like, I'm instant dead, right? It takes time to be able to utilize it. This allows for the kinds of scorched earth Planes can now attack railroads. Successful over the course Dude, of imagine you have there is tech bombers and you bomb someone's trains. Allowing you to draw your enemy in bleed them, and let them starve before taking back what's yours. Wars are no longer just about victory points, as troops must Okay, be... I got it, I understand. You just fucking win, man. If you have a no air build, like people play, that means AA has to be very strong now. Because if you don't stop someone's air, you're just done, man. You are gonna get demolished. Oh, I can take another guy. Um, Wanderstress, obviously. Yeah, that's how war works. Kekno logistics, no problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can even play Scorched Earth now, bruh. There's so much to learn from this. Let's do Danzig War after this and see if uh, UK is still helping Lithuania. Danzig or War. And before he just gives me Danzig. Disband the Romanian troops, it will be given to them. He will still make give new units just to you. They, they will come back anyway. That's why I don't do that. Let's see if they get guaranteed. Wait, he's with the Soviet Union now. No, he's alone now. Lithuania just left him. He took a focus to be friends with him and then he's right, gone again awesome. and... What? Brother, I have no idea, man. I have no idea what the fuck's going on. No idea. It's because Lithuania got taken by the Soviets. Oh, is that a focus? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you understand? I have zero tanks because I did something wrong. I have no idea. Thank you, Brumka. 6k hours does know what Molotov does. Well, he didn't even go to war, Mr. 6k hours. Molotov never. Well, it actually did. But whatever. We have different problems right now. Then you're bullshit, sir. Well, he's not getting. He's not getting. Um. You know. Soviet Union is fully decrypted. Attack railways. Ah, here. Logistics strike. Uh -huh. Look at that, man. Logistics strike. And Cass can also logistics strike. Very interesting. I think this is so cool. Let's have 200 fighters also. Very interesting. Man, this game has gotten so much better. Achievement run rent. This is an achievement run. Are you done? I can't afford this yet. No, air Russia is not possible anymore. It seems like it. The question is, we have to ask ourselves, if a f if I make a full anti-air build, will that stop people? Or, like, I have no idea. There's This is a brand new game now. There's everything changed. The dice just have to be rolled anew. And I, I think that's amazing. I love that. I think it's so good. It's so cool. I really think that's really cool. The research is so different now. Puma is coming. 
MP8038. Port garrisons? Listen, man, no one is going to war for me. It's just Poland. Okay, I have very good... Um, I could make very good refineries. At 50, I get the spirit of the army. Mexican resource exchange. Sure. Okay, then they go war. They might just give it to me. No tank Germany. Well, I, it's not that easy, man. My industry died because of that uh, historical war. What can I do? Playing a bit slower, you man. Learning, okay. I'm so you see, they give it always back to you. So everyone who said just delete them, they always keep coming. I didn't make AA tanks. This is uh, a hardcore artillery tank. Unfortunately, I can't. Yeah, we're doing infantry only, apparently. Okay. Yeah, can I attack now? Okay, that's shot. And now supply. I really have no idea about how the supply works. Okay, we're just running him down because 40 woods is still crazy. 300 trains, no tanks. Man, I'm just, uh, thank you, Jacob. Come on, I'm learning, man. Fuck you guys. Always, you guys always say I'm so toxic. I wonder where I have it from. I always tell you, man, this is like a dog and his uh, leader, man. I'm like you and you are like me. If I'm an asshole, you're an asshole. Build railways to the front. I, 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 I'm winning? And then later for Russia, I built that, I guess. Look, my supply is 99%. Isn't that good? I have really good supply. Yeah, I mean, if this is 100? Thank you, Patrick, my Junge. Was geht, mein Bester? Like, this looks okay. Okay, I won a war. Also, isn't it more cost efficient to build infra in the beginning because it was halved? Maybe they are harder to make now, though. Who knows? Kingdom of Poland. Conquer. Uh, a con conquer means taking your course. Ah, it's very interesting, man. This is all so interesting, man. I, I'm, I'm really having fun, man, to be honest. So I should put my armies always on these hubs, I, I, I guess? It's really like a new Hoi 4. I think it's really cool. Molotov Rippentrop? Nah, I want to attack him later. I want to go around the Maginal. Around the Maginal? So yeah, this is still a zero tank build. <laughs> what can I do though? Like, I can't do shit about that. Because I... Oh, now, now the tanks are coming. So, how does that look like? First of all, I can take uh, a Spirit. XP gain. Doctrines. Rail guns are stronger. Uh, cavalry attack, PP, fuck that, and designing tanks is cheaper. Th isn't that completely useless the way I get it? Because if you have infinite army XP, like in late game or Germany, you don't care about that. I can pay for everything. You lost six visions? No, no, no. I only said 18. Take the rail guns. Yeah, why not the rail guns? Yeah. Land doctrine cost minus five. Um, planning speed 20. Let's take the, the rail gun. I guess. Do you even have rail guns? Yeah, soon. Okay. My god, eh. You guys. Very toxic. A lot of tungsten problems. So I want to be at the front line, but... And like England is not uh, helping anyone? Okay, so you have to spread. I have 100 logistics, 99. Bro, it's gonna take a while until I understand this logistics stuff. Oh, now we go. France, but not England. England's not in this. Oh, they're the Allies. So I'm going toward the Allies. I have no tanks, though. So the war's starting. Okay. Could do Molotov Rip and Drop. Nah, just. Yeah, I have time. Why not? I have time. I don't give a fuck. I'm just enjoying. Thank you. Here's Stretchy. And now I'm a bit like, what do I do with political power now? Well, I want to uh, get called units, obviously. Also, it's time to make some defenders. Set 32 at first. And now, here we go, here we go. Ah, I don't have enough, but I want to make the tank now. I don't have enough XP though. Yeah. And medium tank. I have so many questions. What if I design three different medium tanks? How does the game allow me which one I take? I don't understand that. It just says medium tank. What if I have three different medium tanks? 
click into medium tanks? There's nothing there, no. You have to click on equipment. It's like I'm relearning the game. And then you click here who you want. Basic medium? I, I, I called him different though. I called him medium tank one blitz. I, I can't save it yet. That's why it's not shown right now. Set the icon different. What? S what? I have no clue what you're talking about, man. Zero. No tank Germany, yeah. Uh... What you're saying? The tag change? Why would that? That's just for graphics. What are you? Wait for XP. Wait for XP. Thank you, Miko. Oh! Oh! Well, what? Hey! Come on! What? Maybe they take Molotov Rippentrop? What the fuck? What is happening? As a. What? Damn. <laughs> what the fuck is going on, Elo? And on the top is your trucks and trains. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand, yeah. Mm -hmm. Military police. Maybe Molotov saves that, otherwise, let's just fight him. Cancel Maginot. Yeah, I should really cancel Maginot. We might just get a non aggression. What is that? You can select a preferred tactic now. I don't know. I have no idea. At 25 XP, we take a look. There are two different chassis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 67 divisions against USSR. Yeah, that's enough. First time here, mate. <clears throat> Man, I really am very confused today. But I like that. I think it's really cool. A lot of weird shit. So yeah, this should give us an aggression pact. If not, we just fight him. See what happens. He must be perched. With the... That's a... What? 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 Scorch off from Poland. Ugh, calm down, man. We're gonna just go there. But, like, what is happening, man? I, I'm so fucking confused about everything. Like, what? Six more. Good night, Lisa. I'm gonna be quiet. Also, mechanized was changed so you can upgrade the production cost, armor, and speed, and it's meta to take five on. What are you talking about? Meta? This game is not even out yet, you fuck. Shut up. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, Russia looks very easy. Am I gonna get this achievement gifted, man? This looks very easy. Just don't take Stalingrad, no matter what. Never ever end Munchen's wounded. I'm gonna easily win here? Like, I'm gonna just beat him? Uh, 67 divisions against Russia. Uh, I'm gonna take what you fucking ice cream all the time. Right. I'm just gonna shit on Russia here. So, wait, what is the achievement? Well, that was easy. I'm making Camino. If I finish this uh, quickly, we're gonna watch some videos to explain more. Um, capitulate the Soviet Union without taking Stalingrad. Doesn't that mean I have to do that fucking collaboration government? And before you can't do it without collab government, man. I swear to God. And before this, I mean, this is mostly what happens with achievements, right? Some dumb shit happens. So I, I'm not really caring about supply here. It's I'm just really like. Hmm? Whatever. Be careful that your allies take it. Yeah, they will take it though. So I'm fucked anyway. It's over. The achievement is gone. They will take it anyway. Should have invited the allies. That they actually started that war. I can already stop, right? This is over. I'm not gonna. Um, this is over already. 
Kick your allies. You can't kick in a war. You're just all saying random shit. Nah, this is over. Try blocking. What? They, they share with me. What are you talking about? We're in an alliance. I... Uh... You can't take Romania's divisions. There's a lot of Italians, man. I, you guys are all just saying random shit. Kick from faction. That he will still be at war. Okay, Italy's gone. I'm alone at the front line now. We could maybe still save this achievement. Dude, Russia is a joke to kill. Like, ultra easy. Don't take Ali volunteers. There's probably massive supply issues. I'm repairing this stuff. Supply really doesn't matter to me at all right now. It's like, okay. Request Romanian units. Sick. Request forces. Okay. Kill Russia without taking Stalingrad. Which might need a collaboration government. Um, how do you do... Suicide Globes? Is Japan at war? Yeah, but he's not really gonna take Stalingrad, is he? Man, everything is... As always, I mean, it's high 4, it's high 4. I'm ultra confused, and but that's very normal nowadays, isn't it? I'm making these guns, but I don't even need them, you know? It's like, okay. I don't need this shit. Soviets are destroyed by Civil War debuffs. Yeah. I'm not the one that declared the war, though, man. This is kind of just happening. I got new guns. Well, looks like we're just getting that achievement for free. Um, if I get it right now, if everything works out, I'm going to start another game. I'm going to start the Italy achievement to learn more. Italy achievement is also easy. Is Russia mid purge? He's just really fucked. He had a civil war. He is minus 50% orc, yeah. It's a bit wrong by the devs maybe to allow them to attack us. Like Russia should have not attacked me, but now he's just going to die. I mean, what can I do? I would like to see these tanks in action, though, before we stop today. I still don't understand, though, if my tank is in this or... Questions, questions, questions. Like, my tank is not in this. I think it's a bug. You know, I self-named the tank called Medium One Blitz, and it's not in that division. But I think it just doesn't show. It's not wrong. Improved is yours. Yeah, yeah, I know. I was just making the point. It doesn't take. It doesn't uh, also use the name that you gave the tank. That was my. That was. That's. That's what I was saying. Okay. Whatever happens, never ever take Stalingrad here, which means we have to self-micro everything. Okay, let's just really get this out. But so, good starter game to learn, I guess. Learning a lot here. But there's a lot to learn. Like, that, that supply system. I, I even feel like just ignoring it. Like, look at me. I'm just running into Russia and, like... Oh, you can you can garrison railways. Okay, interesting. You can garrison railways. <clears throat> Request Romania territories near Crimea. Um, they normally don't do that. They just say no. Yeah, that's never works. Hungary might just, uh, Hungary might just do it. Kick him from faction. This is so meme again. I just have to make sure that no one takes Stalingrad. Do they mean the city or the state, I wonder? Like, uh, I have a weird feeling some dumb shit is gonna happen. Turkey joins allies. Oh, man. <laughs> This was all very awkward, but we learned a lot. But yeah, Russia just gets shit on. It's just a city. How do you know that? How do you know? Blaslov captured. What, what happened? Wait, what happened? I got, I got it. Oh, look, there's now a picture that shows you if your uh, guys can be upgraded. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. You see that? There's now an alarm if they can be upgraded. Oh, that's so sick. Fedor is now an infantry high command advisor. I could now take Fedor von Bock and get another infantry bonus. Thank you, feedback, man. What's up? Feedback. Feedback, you want a Discord after this and explain the fucking supply system to me? Last of was an ethically Russian Nazi collaborator. But I got him as a general or something? What happened? The, 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 why can't I click? What's going on? 
Laszlov. Yes, he is. Okay, Dave, let's do that afterwards. I just saw him. Andrei Vlaslov. He's a winter uh, infantry specialist. Okay, Dave, let's talk after this. If you want to. Italy is going for Stalingrad? I just kicked him out. You're, you're fake news. Hater. That's ban. I'm banning you. Fake news. Out. Okay, kill Russia without taking Stalingrad. Okay, okay, okay. We're getting actually dangerously close. Careful now. And we're gonna right. start removing the front line a bit here. Which obviously is gonna be a bit mad, but we have to take care of that. What if I just do this? Like, like it's just an achievement. I don't have to take anything serious. Just, just walk in like this, you know. Fuck everything. Thank you, Guibe, man. Pay attention to front line in Stalingrad. Well, I wonder what I'm doing here. Yeah, I don't need to build anything. Russia is ultra done. They don't have anything. This could be the achievement quite easily, man. I mean, this is one of the easiest achievements. And I'll just hold. Don't touch Stalingrad. How do you kill a Russia without Stalingrad? That must be so fucking mad. Make resistance contact. Prepare collaboration government. There you go, man. There you go. Hungarian bomber competition. That's cool. I'm very confused, but this was very fun. This this is very fun. I'm just gonna start. I'm just gonna talk to Dave after this and play Italy. And Italy is about supply. He can maybe explain it to me. You got three units from Laszlov. I got three units from Laszlov. Oh here. Oh what? Russische Freiwilligen Division. What the fuck? Oh, you get seven twos from Laszlov. <laughs> That's funny. You just stay here, right? That's funny. Okay, now we're just really waiting. Killing Russia quickly. Don't take Stalingrad. You should click on the button to auto-upgrade on the tank design. I did that. I did that. If you will fucking watch the stream, you will know that. I totally did that. And I'm just looking now, even though you're an idiot. I did not. What? I apologize. You are a sexy beast. Also, like, who... Right now, supply means nothing to me, right? I mean, this is obviously very easy. I'm not. This is not like really hard or anything. All right. So now we just wait, and we got the first achievement. This was kind of tutorial. This was a test, and here Achieve. we are now. Let's do. Yeah, let's just take that stuff real quick. All right, some ausrück. That was quite easy. I mean, that's that's an ultra easy achievement, obviously. That's really easy. The, the hard ones come later. Maybe with tanks and winter supply, it's an issue. Yeah, yeah, I just... I don't even have a tank, man. I, <laughs> so what is this stats? Okay, that looks strong. Oh. oh. Not much armor, but that looks strong. Ooh, 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 look at that. And I need 1k mediums. Okay. Man, there, I will have to learn so much here. That's for sure. We will have to learn a shit ton about this. He only has 47 heart attack. What? <laughs> well, he's supposed to be anti-infantry, man. So, that makes sense. He was supposed to be average reliability, huh? Why is it only 90? I thought it was 99. I the soft attack though is insane, yeah. Why is someone going in here? Oh. I think we're going over to self micro in a second. I think we're gonna go to self micro here in a second. Deny AI supplies. There's no AI anywhere, man. Come on. All is good. Thank you, uh, Tordern. And before it's about the state of Stalingrad, I feel like not even taking the risk. Like, don't even take the state, you yeah, man. Even though I would think the achievement is meant to be about the city. Okay, I have Dora the Explorer. What? Dora the Railway Gun. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm building Dora the Railway Gun. Okay, man. Let's test that shit out. 
Look at the Soviet focus tree. Why? We're gonna play them later, man. Use your head, please. Shut up being so awkward, man. I will have to self micro in a second. It needs resources, it's not building. Oh, they're like really expensive? <laughs> okay, they're ultra, ultra unpayable expensive. Okay, tank guns are insane. Well, they give up to 15% bonuses of all mathematics. That's quite insane. Okay, just really taking our time here, man. Really slow, no stress. Let's just self micro everything now. Like, really, fuck it. Okay, white stays here. Um, I mean, this is literally for free. Green takes all this. All right. What? The UI has been massively increased, though. The UI is insanely cool, man. They did such a good job with the UI. I cannot talk shit there. Beautiful UI. But yeah, this will take a long time. Look, you can see when there's upgrades available. That's so fucking good, man. Really well done. Okay, the achievement is pretty much safe here. Very, very easy achievement. And a very good start. Does what have effects? But it has a lot of effects on logistics. But like right now, I'm like, so what? Like, I don't give a fuck. Oh, here we go. Anshuko just fine against me. Cool. Like, I don't give a fuck right now if about logistics, you know? I'm like, you will probably still need to take the Caucasus to Captain. Yeah, I will have to go to the end of the world, man. I know that. You can't stack railguns, so you probably don't make too much of them. Yeah. How would I call in a railgun? Where's the railgun? I don't have one yet, apparently. Okay. I'm, I'm doing collab government, right? I am. You don't have the network strength of 50. Because uh, I took Moscow. Yeah. Railgun spams in your capital as a unit. Railguns always spawn in your capital. Well, in a second, okay. Fall of Stalingrad? Warte, warte, halt die Fresse, man. Laber nicht. Quatsch nicht dumm rum, voila. No one is taking Stalingrad, bro. Achtung. Russia is so massively debuffed, man. They can't even do anything. Yeah. That was easy. I need even more tanks now, even though I'm not building much more than... Like, I need to... I, I'm, I'm just confused. But confused in a good way. Confused in a very good way. As Italy have full railway everywhere. That's literally a little grind achievement. Then if Dave is still up, we could talk to him and he could play, explain. Supply maybe a bit more to me. So yeah, now we just have to wait, boys. Right. We're waiting, waiting, waiting. Didn't I make units or some shit? Rookie. Here's the free tanks. Supply system didn't even matter, Omegalo. Good job as usual, Paradox Papega clap. Well, I guess in, in real hot scenarios and, and online it matters a lot. Like here, like here it didn't matter at all. But this Russia wasn't even ready for the fight. I don't want to talk shit about it. I don't want to talk shit about it. Thank you, uh, Paradox Pepinga. In multiplayer, this is probably really fucking deep and shit. I don't think it's fair to say that. You could do that or Razor achievement in the same run. What is that? What are you talking about? Eurasia achievement. What? What are you talking about? Oh, make a railroad from Gibraltar to Singapore. Oh, bro, I feel like doing that another time. That's too fucking meh. Make Reichskommissariate? It's just whatever. I don't care. It's just really get the achievement and be done. You meant Siberia to Natuba, blah, blah, blah. You mean Siberia to Natuba. Just wait till the strategic bombing begins. Careful of Stalingrad here, brother. Careful of Stalingrad. Don't take Stalingrad, brother. Oh, very annoying achievement though, as, as most achievements in this game are. Just ultra annoying. Take forever. From Gibraltar to Singapore. I'm doing that another time, man. You should have made it more RL. In 1940, the drones had different rails from the Soviets. The Soviets had... Well, maybe you can just calm down. That... No one... Oh, I don't... 
Historically, the railways were different, bro. It's just a fucking game, you know. It's just a fucking game. So here I have. So I, uh -huh, I'm just doing this, I guess. And now um, I'm doing. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm doing this. Yeah, and I'm, I'm, I'm doing this. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm doing this. Uh huh. Okay, cool. I'm doing that. Check your rail guns. They're not done yet. Takes a while. 30th of June. 30th of June. I have a rail gun. The middle army is not attacking. There you go. Well, achievement is kind of done. Right, I have massive supply issues yet, but I can still just win. You know, doesn't matter that much. Let's just refinish this. Orange army is not. Yeah, 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 yeah. The achievement is as Germany capitulate Russia without taking Stalingrad. There's an Italy and a. And who came up with that Italy achievement? As Italy have full railways everywhere. Like, fuck, fucking achievement is dead. As Italy be AFK. Railroad tycoon. Yeah, I'm I'm building random stuff that I think in my brain will fix my supply. Also, my tanks are just hanging out, right? They're not really doing much. They're undersupplied anyway. Uh, my tanks are just. Uh... Hey, Kawakasu. Man, I'm, I'm taking my time. Just be. Man, hey, you guys need to calm your titties. Your brain isn't smart. As at, le at least my name isn't Marcus. Bruh. Be chill, boys. Everything is cool. Support Mexico. I'm supporting you. My dick, man. I'm just fucking getting the achievement real quick. No one cares. You guys always care about the weirdest shit, man. A guy literally just said historically the railways were different between Germany and Russia. Wow. Thank you, World Reaper. In Italy, the railroad network is a milliard to the Autobahn in Germany. Everyone believes the fascist build it. Uh, not true. The achievement is called All Roads Lead to Rome or something. And I think it's based on that, I would think. At least they run on time. Yeah, that's some Italy meme or something. It's a conspiracy that Mussolini made trains run on time. Ah, okay, 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 sorry. We need to refit the tracks. What do you mean refit the tracks? Didn't I just literally do that a second ago on stream? Man, you guys are just weird. I swear to God. Okay, let's take cola and then just finish this shit. Did you know that historically, um... Tommy K is right, the worst Age of Empires player in the world. Right. Fuck is this trash music? Everything's weird right now. Look at that shit. I would have a Pepsi. This is the Half Island Cola, okay? Sorry that I have to educate you on that. Because right. the geography teacher didn't. Zuhören. Come on, aggressive. Aggressive. Zuhören. Green guys, come on. There you go. And the moment I attack, he goes ill. Fall of Stalingrad? Dude, you're banned. You're banned. Who said that? Plenta. Banned. Boom. There ain't no fall of Stalingrad, boy. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. Okay. Well, that's really a rather easy achievement, man. You don't have to use your brain much here. Look at Asia for one second. There you go. Uh, whale guns are coming very soon. I have some whale guns soon. Your collab government needs to be done again. Completed. So I have. I don't even know what. I, I, I became such a noob at Hoi 4 in the last months because I just don't care anymore, to be honest. Uh, what does collab government even do? They, 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 they like die faster, right? They capitulate faster or something. I just really reached a point in Hoi 4 where I, I'm not that deep into it anymore, you know? I still have fun. But it's not like I know everything. And you also get no resistance. And you get 90% of the factory. It pretty much just means that um, when you kill... When you right. kill that person, you almost have... You have very high compliance with them. Pretty much, that's what it means. You have 100 pp and 350. Dick on. No one cares. Use your head for once in your life. Habibi, I got the achievement. I'm running through Russia. 
I don't need to play serious anymore. Ah, Hi, Ligamuti. Hey. As people like you are pissing me off, dude. Hey, Amen. I could be the leader of the world. I could be the god emperor of the universe. You would still be like, no, 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 don't eat raw eggs. That was a weird example, but my god, we're cool, man. Don't fucking worry about it. Jeez. Okay. We're going, we're going, we're going. I would like to see these tanks in action. These tanks are ultra bad, but they ultra beat infantry. Let's get these three guys over here. Also, I have these guns in a second. So, don't I have a red... Oh, here we go. Okay, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? You can't attach them. Wait, what? That means you get plus 10% to all stats or something. Oh my god, look at that. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, that's fucking cool. Wait, what? And now they move? Oh, that's cool. And I think they give 10% to all stats in the region. They don't stack though, yeah, yeah, yeah. So one is enough for... for uh, depends on the region. Oh, 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 Ooh. Dude, I even too scared just to go into the region of Stalingrad. I'm even scared of the region, man. Don't touch that, man. I swear. Oy, 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 oy. It's so sad that you always have to play this in achievements. Like, it's just some meme stuff. Like, make sure you don't walk into Stalingrad. How fucking awkward is that? So green is through. Everything's going well. Obviously, supply is bad, but it's like, oh, so what? Uh, I, I just built these random. F like, I don't know what I'm doing with this. Yeah, here, look at that. Bam. And then I press that, and I press that. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> no idea what I'm doing. Okay, we're getting these bad boy tanks over here. Investment portfolio from Turkey. Cool, man. I just joined. Did you get the DLC already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's get these tanks ready, and then I'll make that circle around Stalingrad. Take Baku. We're going yeah, as again, man. Be chill. We have all the time in the world. No, no allies gonna attack us. Supply is really bad. So this only means everything is fulfilled. Supply is not much better from that, though. Like, uh, my question is, imagine you're in a bad supply situation, right? Somewhere in the world. Like, I don't know. Like, like here, I'm in a bad situation. What is the first decision? Is, is it the railway? Is it plus two infrastructure? Is it a supply depot? I, I wonder what, what is the first decision I should make? That's why I kind of wonder what I should do. Okay, these tanks are completely mental, man. They're just going to walk through like this. Oh, look at these tanks. Oh, <laughs> it's a fucking inf... <laughs> and... <laughs> oh, man. All of the above? Dude, that infantry tank is just going... Adios, bitch. Dave Lakotra, is he still here? I hope he's not leaving yet. Okay, don't take Stalingrad, brother. We're making a nice line around it. Man, these tanks are insane. Set your supply hubs from cavalry to motorized. Well, look, I did this. I turned them to motorized priority, so that means it's doing it automatically for me, you know? Or maybe it's not. I don't fucking know, man. I have no idea what's going on, bro. No clue in the world what is happening. Why not bring Dave in now? Uh, sure, Dave, uh, just call me in Discord if you want to, Dave. Just call me if you want to. Wait, so I won. What? What? Hey, that was so easy. Huh? Since when is Russia that... So that F... What? Okay, without taking Stalingrad. So let's see if I get the achievement. Where does the achievement pop up? In the left or something? That was ultra easy though, man. 
The hardest part was to understand the new game, bro. Stiff here. Check, check, one, two, one, two. Hey. What's up, going? man? How you doing? doing so you're good. telling How me you, you understand all this yet, or you still have... How do you Am feel I... about this? Let me put the music down, sorry. What was the question? How do you, do you understand everything that's going on yet with supply, or what? I think about 90, 95%, I get it, yeah. That sounds great. Well, can you tell us? <laughs> oh. Like, yeah, but where do you start, yeah? Um, I know, you're like asking me, like, what's the theory of relativity? Can you give me a more specific question? I was just making an example on stream. Let's say I have... Let's imagine I'm Japan, I'm attacking China in the north. You know, you know what I mean? Like, where they always attack. Beijing and yeah. stuff. So, I am now in a supply issue. And now I have to ask myself, do I want to build a port? Do I want to build a railway over there? Do I want to make infrastructure? Do I want a supply depot? What should I do first? I was thinking before you answer, I was thinking, like the guy said in the YouTube video, you press F4 and then you kind of see what you're missing. And then you do that that you're missing. Um, the, the short answer is you're thinking it way more complex than that. They've made a button for that that just does it all for you. What? W where? Yeah, what? So... So, I need to get you out your P's conference first, so just click a thousand times, Tommy. Click a thousand times. Sorry, sorry, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I mean, I should just, if I press down, I have the achievement. One last time, but let me just check. As Germany capitulated the Soviet Union without taking Stalingrad. So Has I'm... Soviet Union not got meant to exist, though? Soviet Union is not meant to, I have no idea. They never... See, I hate doing achievements right after release, because they're always buggy. Yeah. <laughs> And you never know what exactly they want from you, you know? I know, I know. Don't want to do a mistake here. Give Stalingrad to Japan? I, I guess so, yeah. Before uh, Japan puppets Russia. And that's like broken. Almost there, Stalingrad chat. Stalingrad Island. Island of Stalingrad. Stalingrad is not taken yet. So uh, I'm 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 giving Stalingrad to Japan. Yay. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, achievement. Oh god, clenching. I didn't get it. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> oh my god, paradox. <laughs> oh. Here's a good question: Are those achievements even live? Because usually they don't go live until release date. What? What does normally, that mean? Normally, achievements aren't live on Steam until after... Oh, they do look like they're actually live, actually, because the no, gray icons live. are there. Yeah, they are, actually, yeah. Ah, here, here, ah, it says here. Capitulated the Soviet Union without taking the city of Stalingrad or having troops in any province in its state. Yeah, I... Huh? Oh, shit. Oh, no, you've got, you've got none in the state as well. Okay. What? <laughs> it's because Russia is still alive. I could, there was there not a oh lam balam oh ne alto leg me stock this is why chase yo why is there what I want to say something you've done something really good in this video well, this this game uh, not declaring on the allies is such a good call because they logistically bomb you to hell probably yeah I, oh man I learned that the hard way. It's because your troops shouldn't take Stalingrad. Perinos, you dumb motherfucker. If you would watch the stream for one second, you would have seen I wasn't once in Stalingrad. And then you make a statement like this, man. You have to be a fucking Bretnum idiot. Anyway. Reload safe. Do you know what a fucking... Iron Man my, is, you fuck. My, my bet is it's glitched. That, that's my bet. Um, <sighs> did you try an, an easy achievement? Because that's the way it lets you know if the achievements are live. Yeah, let's try the Italy one. <clears throat> While talking about supply. Yeah, yeah, that's cool, that's cool. September 6th is after peace conference. Hey, chat, I can't handle you people. <laughs> These guys are so dumb. It's because the Soviet Union justified on Japan. Like, Japan took him down. Who knows? It's, it's basic paradox stuff. It's whatever. Okay, let's do the Italy achievement then. While they, uh, uh, Dankus, oh my god, I called you Dankus, bro. Th this, th <laughs> Jesus, this, you, this achievement, dude, you think this achievement's easy? You, you do literally have to go AFK, but the problem is, is building railways to the max 
It's very easy. They're very fast, aren't they? Uh, it requires a lot of production cost, though. Be aware of that. No, I, I, I just played Germany, and building one railway took like five, five seconds. Achievements do work. Did you build it up to level five? Fifteen is the highest, right? Right? No, it goes from one Let's to five. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. One sec. And then I can look at Utopia, and you can explain maybe what the fuck's happening. Uh, one sec. Let me just check it real quick. Um... As, as fascist Italy have max level railways in every single core state. Okay. And before Savoy is core, some shit. Let's play a uh, historical man. Like this shit is really dumb. Let's play historical. I'm not touching this shit. Well, guys, we're playing Germany again, and we're gonna understand more. I sh it should have happened as soon as they capitulated, so maybe it's bugged. Who knows? So, let me just set everything up, and then we can talk. Ordini. Let me just do Etopia, and then we're just AFK anyway. Ordini. But Etopia is going to be a great example to uh, show Pronto, the supply signore. system. Rodolfo Gazziani, molto bene. Giovanni Messe, tutto bene. Japan remembered Ethiopia, Formazione. if it's not a complete mess here. Si, signore. But so far, did you take a while understanding all this, or did you like instantly like oh, I understand uh, this? My my first game, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a truth bomb here. My very first game, I played Germany. I recorded it, and it was a complete fucking mess. So like Absolute my game. Mess. <laughs> and um, the video is released tomorrow, and I edit out most of the terrible mistakes but you'll see i take out france in 1941 and i take moscow in like 1943 so the honest truth is that was really awful for my, my general damage okay so there's new, new sound effects they're very cool the sound effects are cool yeah brings it to life doesn't it? so one second i'm almost what done just delete everything almost there you probably okay. The question is, is every core state of Italy also belonging to me right now? Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, right, it is? Yeah. How do you I see all your so. cores? There isn't a map mode for it, sadly. I have... I own all my cores, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right, chat? Yeah. So, once again, uh, you click here, you see it better. As fascist... Oh, here we go. Have a wave of level 5 in all these states. That's ultra easy. So let me just set that up, and then we can start. Just, just do one of them. Here. I, so here's the good example for you, Tommy. Um, don't do this now because what we're about to do is going to overlap what we're about, what we're about to do. What? So what click on do? one of your supply depots. Just click on one of them. Yeah. So let's say the one next to the Alps, for instance. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, what, or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and it brings like a, a venue that pops up above it. I think you have to get out the construction screen. You have to be in the supply map mode. Oh Out yeah. The construction yeah, screen. Yeah. And you've got a little pop-up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So can you see that top one? Upgrade railways? Yeah. Yep. So what that'll do is that will improve the railways from your capital leading to this point and push it up one level of in, uh, if railway. So let's just say ah. running from your capital to here, they're all level twos apart from one. Hitting that button will upgrade that one to a two. And if they're all two, it'll upgrade them all from two to three, then to four, then to five. And then it will be max. So therefore, the supply running from the capital to that region will be the maximum supply. That is the easiest way of boosting your supply. Uh, to so the front line. example, I have low supply in, 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 in Sicily. Yep. So I click on Sicily, I click Upgrade Railways, and automatically every railway that matters gets upgraded, not just that local one. Correct. Ah. Now, I don't know if it improves port, so let's try Libya. Or Sardinia. Okay, let's try Libya. Um, up, I just said Upgrade Railways. Yep, you no, know, nothing happens it. there, nothing happens. Because there's no connection to the capital, I guess. D delete all the bits. What you've already got, just to make it clear. Or let's like, clear let's be like really weird. Let's let's try it on uh, Etopia here. Upgrade sure. railway. Uh, it does. Anzi, you roam. But that means um. Keep pressing it a few more times. Go as high as it goes. Smash that button. Yeah, this this only makes the supply from Rome to the port that supplies this region. I want to see. I could swore that if I've hit it multiple times, it adds the port as oh, well. Oh yeah, it did. This. Ah oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, 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 there you go. There you go. So it does it for you. So you don't need to use your own brain that much. You can just press this, that. I told you this is dumb, dumb mode. That is the easiest way ah. of doing it. So let's check if I... Like, I have... I actually have good supply in Utopia. I would have loved to have uh, that supply to show okay. that. Okay. 
One other thing I noticed you made a mistake with on the previous one. It's not a big deal. I made this mistake too. When you supply motorized to a supply depot, it doesn't give more supply. All it does is increases the range of that supply depot. So the only time when that is beneficial is when you're in an area where supply depots are very far apart, like in Siberia or in Africa, because there, therefore there is no railway connections and it has to be brought by uh, cavalry or motorized. Uh, okay, okay. Okay, okay. I think I get it. Uh, dude, that, also, that button is so important, actually. Oh, that button's big. Ah, oh, it's so big. It's so big. Be aware, railways are cheap, but if you hover over, it increases the cost every time you go to a higher level. So the, the, oh. the costs start to really stack up. Well, let, let's test that. Wait, wait, wait. Let me test that. By the way, chat, the achievement is have, have the full railway in all of Italy. Um, let's say, for example, Turin has very bad supply. So I press the button once. I don't think this is an easy achievement, uh, Tommy. I think... Let me just say FK is... and just talk. Chat. Well, I mean, you can AFK, I suppose, but... So now this is becoming level two. And yep. then I press it again, and now they're level three. Wait, they yep. have to all be level five. That's going to take forever. Yeah. What? Yep. That's going to take 20 years. Yep. So if you hover over the cost for railroads, it says that it goes up in cost per level. Uh, no, the one Plus on the... Plus 130 construction costs per existing railway. Yeah, that's yeah. the one. Yeah, that's the one. Yep. Whoa, that's good. What the fuck is that achievement, man? One other thing I spotted, um, logistics companies have been buffed. Uh, they give 10% extra, uh, plus 10 breakthrough. Uh, and I think at the moment, unconfirmed, I think the new meta will be that every single division will have a logistics company attached to it. But isn't that always the meta that you you mean this one here, logistics? I've always played like this since day one. Yeah, logistics. It's a, it's a hidden stat as well, because I've noticed you can't see it here. There's no breakthrough stat here, but it gives plus 10 to breakthrough when you add it onto the division. What? Once again. Yeah, I know it's strange, but it's not there. What happened to Germany game? We won, but didn't get the achievement. Basic, <laughs> basic stuff. So do I have supply? So now I have supply issues here, yeah. And state supplies are scaled to 18% due to not having full control of the state. The supply remaining? Like, here's a, here's a question, what I want to understand. Yeah. So, I'm playing the game here, right? I want to play good. I press F4, and I see, oh, I'm starting to have a little issue here in this desert. Yep. How do I now find out what I have to do? Like, is there like an information somewhere that says do one port and then... Like back in the day, you pressed a four and it said bottleneck infrastructure in Siam. Please build plus two infrastructure to fix this issue. That's what well, I'm missing, all you know, that button. Yeah, well, all supply comes from supplier hubs. So if there's a bottleneck that you want to improve, it has to be approved at the supply depot. Um, at the moment, the issue with that's having low supply is because you don't have much control of that specific state. But if you click on the combat and watch the stats as the game progress, you'll see that when divisions lose supply over time, because supply used to be one dimensional in the past, it used to be on or off. You either were low supply or you weren't. Now supply now is a percentage. So as long as they fight or in low supply areas, they will lose more and more and more supply. And what you'll probably notice with that division attacking into the Ethiopian mountains is initially he's probably doing all right, not with much of a penalty. As time goes on, uh, his penalty get worse and worse and worse and worse. Okay, like I was wondering, in this situation, should I do this? Watch this. Um, should I do this? Bam, plus one. Or should I do this? Well, oh the no, buttons. you can't build a railway here. Oh, there's no railway in Utopia. Uh, this one here. Yeah, but that doesn't really benefit you anyway. Oh yeah, because... you see this? Like, what what does this do here? This one. What does is that important or? Well, that's only going to give you more supply if it goes to another depot the end of the day that's not going to give you any more supply and i don't understand that at all the, de the supplies all come from depots they don't come from railroads railroads don't generate supply so railroads are just a method of getting supply to a depot so this entire utopia war lives off this supply depot here well, one the, the southern one as well this one would probably benefit from and motorized in order to, to improve well. that's what i kind of learned with what you just told me before what improves the supply depot is actually plus one port and, in a weird way, a railway from Rome to Anzio, which is the port from where supply comes from. 
What's really deceiving compared to the old system is that you see those icons at the top right, you know, the, the fiery gas can, yeah. and you panic. You're like, well, yeah. that's a really bad situation. That would never happen in the old version. Yeah. Now you can't avoid it. To be honest, doing Barbarossa without getting one out of supply is borderline impossible. You just kind of have to embrace the supply burning jerry can. <laughs> No, I just saying this. Look at stream. Look at stream, Dave. People are saying I should do this, but you just said, like, what does this do? What What is the difference here? What 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 is this? Uh, so if you wait over time, it will actually show the checkered area to expand, but there's no extra checkered area to give you, so it's not going to do anything for you. So can you see? Can you, so, so can you see when you selected the supply depot, it gave you like a checkered area. There you go. Yes, can you see it? Yeah, so what's happening? So when you go for the. <laughs> so it you doesn't see, really make yeah uh, this this it, this red one is getting dark red so it's now getting reached yeah it's it's, it's not very visual all in there okay and infrastructure does someone's asking gives it full capacity oh, i have no idea man unconfirmed I, I i've messed with infrastructure and tried to max it out even though the tooltip says it gives more supply from my testing i have no no difference in supply but once again i'm not that's unconfirmed okay so so it looks like pressing this button just makes the radius of the effect of a depot stronger yeah okay right. um uh, uh, someone's asking you... what did he ask is it worth it building supply depots? Because I saw there are 20,000 production. That's like um, two sifts. That's that's maybe in late, but that seems very crazy. The scenario where I feel a supply depot would benefit is where, let's say, there's a front line in Africa, like Central Africa, which is a common place to fight with, so low supply issues happen. Or that bit between the Urals in Russia, where it's really difficult to break through and supply depots are far yeah. away. In that case, buying a depot just to get that extra push momentum for an offensive seems worthwhile. Because what I've noticed is when both sides are on a front line and they're both far away from supply depots, it's a stalemate. So the only mm. time I feel like that'd be applicable is in that scenario. Man, this raises so many questions. I have so many fucking questions. Like, what if, what if one guy has 700 fighters and the other guy has 400 fighters and 200 bombers? They both fight. And I put the 200 bombers on kill railroads. How much damage is gonna happen? Am I gonna be safe? Is it like air seems really insane now if you play it right, right? Yeah. Yeah, Pronto, signore. Hey, 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 man. It, it seems to have, it, from my experience, the actual impact on the stats that logistical bombing does <clears> is more <throat> psychological. Because you look in your production queue for construction, you see this massive list of broken railroads, and you're like, it's all going to hell. But the truth is, is when you actually look at the actual effect it's having, it's actually relatively small. I guess it's just, you just see that broken list and you panic, you know? Dude, Dave is so right. This achievement is going to take forever, man. <laughs> Holy crap, man. That is insane, this achievement. If you bump this supply and you take the tile, you're going to blah, blah, blah. Uh, Just one question. Let's say you're Germany and you're really deep in, in, in Russia. That... Uh -huh. That button you just showed me, that, that saves everything. Like, I go here, like, imagine yep. this right here is really far Russia. Bam! I click this, and then everything from Berlin to that point gets automatically improved. Yep. Now, next question. I'm in the middle of Russia, and uh, there, in the radius of four tiles, there's not a single railway. Should I then build a railway reaching that? Because you just said a railway still makes supply, they just connect supply hubs. Like you see in that in that video, the guy was like making railways everywhere. Look at that! Look at that! Aye, aye, aye. But the, the the way you just described it, you don't need that. You know that's the saddest part so far. I've not found a situation where it's worthwhile to connect railway lines. Just having a level five railway line running from one supply depot to another just seems to be enough. Like making an extra. Uh, like a fork shaped connection doesn't seem to supply any more supply i guess the only advantage to that is if you're in a situation when someone's trying to cut your railway lines and you want to make another route by hmm. drawing a new railway that seems applicable um yeah I, I suppose in those situations too when you're trying to do the achievement from gibraltar to singapore uh, there are lots of broken railways for instance the middle east and you i suppose you could connect them that way once again i'm not sure about that one from Gibraltar to Singapore. Well, the achievements are now showing their true colors, that's for sure. God damn it. 
it's so you can make a more efficient route for cheaper upgrading instead of upgrading an around whole pre-built area yeah if i pair drop into a big supply depot it's just which makes sense right it's like oh. special forces someone in, in the chat way. that's actually a good thing actually yeah so someone just suggested um would building a railway be a, a good idea if you want to move a railway gun into a good position? Yes. That's yeah, a good reason yeah. to build a railway. Yes. Then, yeah, that yes. makes sense. You can go up to 50% bonus, yeah. They can attack over two tiles, the railway guns, uh, two provinces, whatever. Mm. Uh, so in that case, making a railway further forward would be a good idea, yeah. Destination for this achievement? I would think Russia. Just kill mm -hmm. Germany, look at kill the Allies, and then you're good. Okay, guys, this achievement is... Whoa. We're gonna just be AFK the whole time. Right back. I don't think I want to do this achievement right now, chat. That seems really boring. I just have to make every railway level five. Ugh. A 4K viewer chat where the comments are going by at Mach 5. What? Does it also mean paratroopers won't get the out of supply penalty because they have an enemy supply depot? <laughs> this is great questions, man. Great questions. If you paradrop and capture the railway that supplies most of this army, is this army like just like encircled? Yeah, I guess it ticks down slowly. You can still save yourself, but yeah. Kill Yugo for Sifs. Yeah, yeah I should have. I'm, I totally deleted my army and not taken seared. Are all of your core territories in your current borders? I, I think so. There's nothing that's... Yeah. There's no course. No. Everything belongs to me. Malta. Yeah, you can just be AFK here and build these railways and you're, you're done. Yeah, this is a complete AFK achievement. Feedback said it isn't one-dimensional anymore. You would get a flat debuff for low supply before. Now it's a percentage based on your supply amount. Yeah, so if you've got a division and you select him when he's got the little low supply jerry can you'll see how much supply that division's holding. Hmm. I, um, go on. I still don't understand the moments of this. <laughs> I still I, don't I, get it. I guess the only way to think of it now is it before it was black and white. It was either in or out. And now it's a percentage of how much supply. Hmm. So I guess the way to think of it is like, let's say historically, German panzers are pushing through the Ardennes hmm. and they're going to be very far away from their supply lines. So what you're going to do there is they're going to be max supply because they'll be in a supply depot in Germany. Then they'll make the push and wrap around before their supply runs out. So they won't suffer from those penalties of being low mm. supply. Yeah. From the Roman Empire, so all of Europe is your core. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, guys. We're not doing this achievement. Actually, hey, I'm almost done. I got Aburzo in Tuscany already. Oh, it's not that hard. I already got two. Uh, yeah, so it looks like you don't have to build the railroads to five everywhere. Just one per state yeah oh yeah 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 so no, wait that's easy make... as fuck well let me check <laughs> you think about it, that's a really Just janky one railway per isn't state. it all of a sudden max railway lines any six railway in sardinia level five but why does it say 16 now why is there a 16 here uh so it's increasing it ah oh, so i guess it has to be every piece within the state then Is roads a core? Dude, don't make me scared with fucking roads, man. No, 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 it's not a core. But it's, it's it all is good. I own all my cores. It's it's because every province. Let's be friends with everyone. Oh, you have to be fascist to lead over this achievement. So yeah, this is full AFK achievement, boys. Full AFK. Ay, yeah, yeah, that's gonna take a sec. Quick question, can spy sabotage supply depots and railways? They cannot. They cannot. They cannot. Sounds fucking cool, but they cannot. Railway guns should have a bonus versus fortresses. Um, still no 4k viewers? Yeah, we're gonna lose a lot of viewers now, which is totally fine. We're calming down a bit. I have to obviously learn this first. I think I will just straight up tomorrow open with Germany again, chat. Because um, that really... I have to play a historical probably. That really bugged out. You should probably never play historical with this stuff. And um, I think we learned a lot today. It's very interesting that they've just taught me this. This is so important. You press this button and then everything from Rome to there gets improved. That's really cool. It's like uh, for, for idiots like me. Very cool. Pray some Zomboid. Ugh, I cold. 
I could actually play some Zomboid. I don't know, man. Can you move railroad guns for ports? So Japan could use them in China. Another amazing question. I have no idea in the world. You have no idea. That's a great question, man. Railway guns always spawn in your capital. Yep. That's a great question. Okay, chat, that's gonna take a sec. Unhistorical games will be different now. They change the way the AI does the focuses. They stick towards a certain route instead of just picking out random. If you increase resistance in a province, then the resistance you supported with the agents will damage the railways. That way your agents will actually... Is that true? Resistance yeah. fucks with railways. Yeah. It's a very costly operation, though, so it's really not worth. Build one railway gun and see if you can ship it. Okay, let's do it. I still have time. Achievement will take 20 hours anyway. Quick question. Can you upgrade hubs, not railways and ports, and therefore not need more frequent journeys by train? I have no idea what you're asking. What? No. Oh, I have no mills, though. I don't really have mills. Uh, can supply hubs be sabotaged by agents? As far as I'm aware, it just classes... Uh, there's like an operation that's sabotage, and I don't think you get to cherry pick what gets damaged in the sabotage operation. So it could be factories, railroads, and depots. Not tested it. The answer is maybe. I don't know. Is it worth it? No. At, at the minute, the sweet spot is logistical you bombing. You can convert because... a railway gun if both the port, it leaves, and it goes to as a railway track. How do you already know that? How do you fucking know that, man? I think it might be in the dev diary. I haven't completed an achievement. The Germany achievement kind of bugged out. As always. As always. Then Sicily level 5. But only one level 5. Not not both. So this achievement is actually easier than we think. Just have to be a bit patient here. The post oh, I have to actually drink some water, guys. I'm ultra dehydrated. Give me one sec, guys. Give me one sec, boys. Oh, one sec. Hi, chat. How's it going? You feeling good? It's your boy, Feedback Gaming here. Just relaxing. Hmm? Come take a seat. Oh, excavation too. <laughs> Guys, if you're gonna check out my video tomorrow, I'm playing as Germany. No achievements though, sadly. Boo. Is this the new update? No, that's this is the new TNO mod. Enjoy reading those events, boys. <laughs> how do you know so much? Uh, I got in early the ultimate, access on the really, first really of November. How all of this is gonna apply to multiplayer? Because yeah, in I know, multiplayer, right? Everybody is a memer. Everybody is looking for a way to fuck you, and they're gonna, they're gonna find ways to design weird tanks. They're gonna find ways to fuck with your supply and, and stuff and it's it's gonna it's gonna get very interesting i'm actually dude imagine i'm a big fan of miners funny joke i know chat imagine you play new zealand on paratroopers and your only mission is to always fuck uh, supply depots up or something that sounds so cool that sounds really cool <laughs> if i understand correctly supply hubs are just areas that can supply nearby provinces by vehicles beside trains where trains themselves bring supply between the hubs and add supply to the province to train. Yeah, it sounds like that. Oh, fuck. <coughs> Grisha will spam you with railway tanks. Mm. Oh, fuck. I just lost a thousand viewers, man. It's nice to say that, though. It's funny. Oh, maybe I should unlock the game. Yeah, more tomorrow, guys. I'm going to play Germany again tomorrow. Oh, thank you, Martinez. Thank you for the seven. <clears throat> oh fuck can you look and see what other countries have their supply depots that will be broken yeah, you can you can oh that's yeah yeah it's stupid Ooh. oh that's not okay i think you should have to build yeah. a spy network and then you should see that oh that's not okay and there's like two i'm getting sifts that's good hmm update sub count uh what's the sub count oh, we're back man thanks to thanks to the new dlc I know chat, this wasn't the most epic of streams, like I didn't design the health tank as Russia, but it's all gonna happen, man. We have to learn first. How does strat deploy work now? Yeah, do they take? That's 
so good. That's a, also a good uh, question. Do they take railways or do you just... But isn't Strat redeploy via infrastructure and not railways? Don't they just use any infrastructure anyway? Got muted rip? No, I didn't. Oh, I misclicked. Dave, I'm sorry. I misclicked. Shit. That's all right. Don't worry about sorry, it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's all right. <laughs> I'm not mad. I promise. Think about it logically. You would know where supply hubs... Where supply hubs are because of shipping manifests for trade, logically. Yeah, but... Wouldn't it be cool if your spice have to find out? You would make spice more interesting, wouldn't you? So now next, dude, this is ultra easy. I already have Sardinia. Wait, ha! Hey, you don't even need the sixteen, Dave. This achievement is very easy. Mhm. Mm I don't need to build. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, it is still ha! Huh? Wait, and now it's still green. Yeah, so Dinya is done. <gasps> this is very easy. What the fuck is Pete Mund? Pete Mund. What happens if you bomb all the railways in the capital region of the country? Uh, you completely gridlock the entire country. Fun times. One thing I want to test out that's probably going to be a spicy exploit is whether you cut all the railway lines <laughs> around the capital. And whether you can like embargo the capital to completely ruin the supply of the entire nation. I have a feeling that's gonna work as well. Oh yeah, if you like oh yeah. Yeah. I mean it's always been a big problem if you encircle someone's capital that they're fucked, but now it seems even harder. Because this entire supply system is based on the capital. The capital is everything. So what happens? Let's say I'm a really strong Italy. I'm really strong. Like, I'm playing great. And in New Zealand, Parrot drops Rome and holds it for one month. What does that mean? Is 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 my like I, I don't know. I have no idea. Oh no, the capital just moved to somewhere else. That'll be the primary supply location. Oh yeah, true, true, true. What if what if um what's a what's an easy thing circled? Let, let's make a weird example. Um, a Hungary, Parrot drops every tile around a Paris. Like then France, she's dead, huh? You just fucked. Good question. Which makes sense, uh, though. I think it's very realistic if you have to defend uh, your your home a bit more, and not just always be on front lines. You can I mean, always move new, the though. supply capital. Yeah, it's not new stuff though, because I mean everyone used to surround uh, the China capital, didn't they? Completely just yeah. destroyed the Chinese supply. Not new. Oh, I think you were wrong. This achievement is so crazy, actually. Yeah, I presume they, they wanted one, to do five everywhere. Yeah, just one tile need to be level five. Because you think about it, this supply wouldn't even work logistically anyway. Because I mean, there'd be just big railroads huh. in certain areas, but then crappy wooden ones in different areas. It'd, it'd be so weird. Yeah. Also, another thing. Um, everybody's talking about. I don't understand it yet though. Your factory count manipulates your scorched. Ah, this is where you do scorched earth. Look at that, chat. If you press that, you explode all the railways. Um, your 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 factories in a country affect your supply. I've never heard that before. I heard that all day, but I still don't understand it. <laughs> no, I've never heard that. Like, a tile with 20 sifts is stronger than one without 20 sifts or something. You can see the amount of railways and provinces too. How? What? Dude, today I'm just like, what? What? Mouse over your capital. Here, from oh. civilian factories, the supply cup of Rome is plus 14.4 because of the factories all of Italy has or Rome has? All of Italy has. Your, your mill, sifts, and dockyards make your supply cap of Rome higher. That's all the factories all of Italy owns. Tuskia is enough? Ah, this achievement is ultra easy, man. We just, we have it anyway. Okay, that achievement is really just a joke. That's really just a joke. Yeah, we're gonna have it any second now. Veneto. Yeah, we have it. That was very easy. That's a literal free achievement. And uh, I forgot uh, Campania. Campania. What games is Tommy playing recently? Oh, everything. It seems like no air Russia is impossible now. If you don't do air, cast will bump supply hops and tactical bombers will destroy the railways. Yep. Yeah. Uh, my main question is though, what? Imagine I'm a I'm a no air Russia, but I go hardcore anti air. I have anti air tanks. I have anti air in all my divisions. Will that save my railways? 
Uh, no, because they're yeah, gonna listen to No, 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 no. Yeah, because let me because anti-air only applies for inside a battle the mathematics that a cast or tech bomber puts on you. But also against bombing. If you bomb something, you also get caught. What what did you want to say? Uh, no, no, you're 100% right. Uh, we pr probably associate close air support with frontline fighting, but now it works like tactical bombers, strategic bombers. You bomb behind the front line, attacking trains and whatnot. I want to know. Let's let's like like you have a you have a region, and have level five AA in it, and you make two hundred tech bomber wumps attack railways. Who's gonna win, my my level five AA or your two hundred shit bombers? That's a very good question. <laughs> Good question. Because if the bombers and cas are strong, then air will shit on this meta. By the way, let's uh, try a uh, strategic redeploy. Avanzate. And he is just gonna. Yeah, he doesn't care. He just uses infrastructure. He does not give a fuck about railways. Yeah. You need AA and railroad and depot garrisons. Well, the cool thing is you have now you have a garrison order now for depots. Uh, what? What's this? Area defense. Oh no, God supply hubs and railways. Ah, okay. It followed the railroad? It didn't, man. Open your Signore. eyes, man. Are you, as a, are you a dum dum? Look, he doesn't give a f Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. He didn't do that a second ago. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Wait, 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 wait. Watch, 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 watch. Avanzate! Like here he doesn't care, you see? No, 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 it's the infrastructure. That was just luck. He doesn't give a fuck about the railway. Strat redeploy is infrastructure. Trust me, trust me, trust me. Achievement unlocked, man. At least they run on time. That Yay. was really easy. Yeah, Marconi. you can all do that right now, Chad, in literally 20 minutes. I can see the Marconi video. I can see the epic montage at the end. <laughs> easy peasy. Oh, man. Two 30 propaganda campaigns. Oh, there's a lot going on in this game. You disabled it? What? what wait, 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 wait. Oh, you idiot. He still does it. Wait, stop. Watch, watch, watch. Strat redeploy, please. Over here. Oh, yeah, she does. Oh, you win. Yeah. You win, chat. Oh. Hug the railways. Oh, they're hugging the railway. And they're much faster now. Ah, you guys win. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Someone permaban me real quick. And I'm on band. What's up? That was uh, a very easy achievement. At least they run on time as fascist Italy. Okay. As Russia take Rome. Oh, we're gonna have a lot to do, man. We're gonna have so much to do. As Poland crown a king and take Jerusalem. Oh, man. The more I think about this, the more this is gonna fucking suck. Make a railroad from Gibraltar to Singapore. <laughs> but it doesn't have, it, it can't be level one. No one cares about that. Doesn't that mean if you just take the whole world, you kind of have that? The DLC is looking exciting, both for Singapore and multiplayer. Yeah, it looks, I think this is very good. This is really interesting. I'm just, what I'm just scared of, Chad, is that people will find brokenness in this. People will find stuff that will make this shit. Banga banga, you know what I mean? I love you too, Georgie. David. So what nation do you play first for your YouTube videos? Germany. And you didn't do achievement? You just played for fun or? Um, no, no, no. Just playing for fun. I just did a historical path. Can you yeah, name some things you learned in that first Germany? Some things that you saw about the new DLC? Maybe something about um, tank design or something? In Circlements, no longer is about surrounding divisions. It's about chopping railway lines. Okay. Anything else? Thank you, Endale, for one um, year, man. Thank you. Snaking just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. So if you think you could try and make a bigger Which circle... Which makes sense. It's realistic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you'll probably wrap around them, but the problem is that you'll be sitting on low supply within the, the snake. So therefore, yeah. eventually, they'll break you. Hmm. Uh, what else did I learn? The AI really likes the logistical bomb. A lot. A lot. Oh. Um... Right, so Yeah, boys, we're starting the Germany achievement again in a chill way, though. And we're playing uh, how, historical. How do you know it's actually working? Well, that's a good question. I, I mean, I thought 
because Japan was in the war or something. Uh, as Germany capitulated the Soviet Union without taking Stalingrad. The German Reich has capitulated the Soviet Union. I think Japan capitulated the Soviet Union. I think without taking the city of Stalingrad or having troops in any province in the state. There's the point. You can't even be in the fucking state. You capitulated them? So you think it's bugged? I think it would be a massive waste of time to do this again. Yeah, you're probably right. If it's bugged, I'm fucked. Yeah, if it's bugged, I'm fucked. Anyway, I gotta go. Love you, chat. Love, Love you, Tommy. Talking, Bye. Man. Love you, bro. All the best. Bye. Okay, I have some options here, man. I could go to bed now and start the stream early tomorrow, or I do one more hour of something. I don't feel zomboid. I don't want to be scared right now. I'm really chill. I don't want to get scared by fucking zomboid. Is there any other rush achievement? Not really. They're fun though, man. They're really interesting. I think this is very cool so far. This is... Uh, what are the reviews like? Ah, oh, you can't see it. It comes out tomorrow. Because <sighs> I kind of want to go to sleep and have a very rich Empire stream. Because I really enjoy Age Vampires. I really do. Even though I just got shit on all day. I actually feel like playing a bit more Age Vampires right now. <laughs> I feel like playing Age Vampires, guys. <laughs> But I'm so bad at it. Like, I, I care so much about Asian Empires, but I'm so bad at it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it, Tommy. You're an addict? I just want to get better, man. Just play Mastery. Ah, the Mastery is so annoying. Join a bow game. Ah, I can't do that long. He's just going to kill me. But yeah, uh, plan tomorrow is... What is the plan tomorrow? So if Germany is bugged, which I, I don't think it is bugged. I think I was just unlucky. What what do you think? I don't think this was bugged. I don't think it was bugged. I don't I don't know. <sighs> it's because Russia was still alive after war. Yeah, the tech was still alive. I think I'm doing Germany again tomorrow. I don't think it's bugged. It's just that Japan can't be in that bullshit. Japan can really just suck it. Have you seen the new Slavs trailer? I don't care about Slavs. So. I think we're doing Germany to learn the basics again. I mean, David just taught me a lot. And then we're going to go into the real stuff, man. We're going in. There's a lot to do, man. And I love it. I think this is really cool. Uh, maybe your allies took one province from Stalingrad state from you. I don't think anyone was in the province. Why do you hate Solaris? I don't need sleeping pills yet. I'm still young. Do Poland peasant revolution. It's 15 minutes. Thank you, Muro. Poland peasants is 15 minutes? Poland peasant is 15 minutes. Could be a lie. You never can trust chat. Poland peasant. I don't... As Poland have the peasants strike over for the government. As Poland have the peasants strike over for the government. Oh, I just quit the game. Sorry. So we could just get out the two mini achievements out real quick. Italy and Poland. That one is really easy. Okay, let's get that real quick. And then we have two achievements done. The thing is, I kind of have need to have good content Pussy. for Marconi to make a YouTube good video night, tonight. Dummy. Like, Marconi is staying awake all night to make a YouTube video about this. Uh, thank you, Oscar, for $10, man. Thank you very, very much. I really like my role so chill. Like, in, in Age of Empires, I'm such a toxic cunt. And I know it alienates viewers. I know you guys hate that stuff. I know. But I just, I just feel like I'm never going to change, you know? I'm reaching this point now. I will always be toxic in Age of Empires. Always. It's not gonna happen. I think it's bugged in the second Russia is capitulated account as you holding stunning god. You have to do a Eurasia achievement, you have plenty of good content. Yeah, 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 don't worry. Tomorrow we're gonna Germany again. And this time I would like to have tanks. Like my tanks were insane against infantry, but they suck at everything else. Uh, I'd rather see you toxic in almost any other game. Only age of empires? In in competitive games I'm very toxic. So apparently we can rush this Poland achievement, people are saying. Polska, Polska. Oh, here we go, Polish focus tree. The problem is I would like to check the Polish focus tree in a in a real game, like 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 really take my time. Like right now I don't feel like reading everything and shit. Make the Polish peasant uprising. Do the 80 days around the world achievement in 80 minutes. How about you shut up for 80 minutes? 
Um, okay, this should be very easy, everyone is saying. Get the Peasant Uprising. Look at all the achievements, man. Um, here. Has completed Organize the Peasant Strike. Organize the Peasant Strike. Oh. Wait, that's that's ultra easy. Well, I don't want to spoil the rest of the tree. I want to check that in when I'm fresher and stuff. Let's just really get that real quick. Organize the Peasant Strike. Poland is divided by the blood of peasants. All across the Polish countryside, the peasants are becoming more homophobic, uh, radicalized by malicious EU uh, uh, governmental neglect. Ignacy Mosishi is never be going to take EU money and uh, uh, to drive the strikes to violence. So must be prepared to rise against the better, uh, to the, the oppressors. Remove low sanitation left opposition? Remove low sanitation right position. When the peasant strikes civil war happens, you will take control of the peasant republic. Unlocks to organize the peasants. That's interesting. Okay, that looks like a really, really easy achievement real quick. But man, there's going to be so much more hardcore stuff. For Poland, man, it's going to be so hard, guys. Oh, it's going to be so fucking hard, dude. I'm excited though, man. I'm actually really excited. All right, you should you should always do trains and and trucks, which I don't have yet. What if you don't have trucks like me here? Aren't you like fucked? Like I'm not making trucks. Uh, 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 yeah, I'm not making trucks. Isn't that like really bad? I wonder how this whole supply system is for for minor nations, man. You probably just get really shit on. You use horses. Oh. Oh, infantry equipment. Okay. Okay, let's get an achievement real quick, and then really... I'm just gonna sleep so we have a big stream tomorrow. I wanna play more Age of Empires. I really, really want to play Age of Empires all day, man. I'm so addicted. But I, I just can't get over how bad I am. It hurts me. It really hurts. Reorganize the railway system. Supply up construction speed plus 300%. And you can take 15 trains, but you lose 5 stability. I haven't seen that on Germany. That's interesting. Cool, 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 cool. Age of Empires is a good game. It's a good game. I'm just very, I'm very toxic in it, and I'm, I'm not improving. And that, <sighs> like two streams ago, I was playing Age of Empires very, very chill. But what the fuck is this stuff? Again, I want to read this when I take Poland series. Um, two streams ago, I was very chill in Age of Empires, and I was very successful. But it's hard for me to stay chill. Like today, I was chill in Age of Empires, and the first two games, I just get shit on. It wasn't even close. They, I, I just got overrun. And I'm like, what? Did you poo today? Oh, I pooed a lot today, yeah. How about Age of Empires 2? It's not 1999 anymore. Let's do intervention for Tommy the Good AOE. No, I have fun. It's esports, which I miss in my life. What are you going to form? We're forming nothing. It's just an achievement real quick to make a peasant uprising real quick. That's all it is. Uh, unlocks Wu the General Staff. Enable the peasant strike. Poland is divided by the blood of the peasants, and you have to enable them and bring them into strike. Uh -huh. I'm making the peasant strike. This is cool, man. So far, this DLC is sick, though. Do not collect railways if you do the strike won't happen. Uh, what do you love m most about Poland? Uh, their cheap labor that keeps Europe stable. Say cheats in Age of Empires multiplayer has found any why are you asking that? That's a weird question to ask. Wasn't there a Zomboid sub goal? Yeah, we're playing a lot of Zomboid lately. Come on. Um boom boom boom. I think I have to ignite the, the civil war or some shit. Like I'm setting up strikes of the peasants. Because Age of Empires seems sus. There has been a cheat, yeah. They talked about it. There's a cheat where you have infinite uh, um, uh, resources. I don't know how that works. It's on YouTube if you care. I don't like cheating. Uh, what do you hate the most about Poland? Let's not go there. Uh, check out Foxhole. Yeah. How about you check out my asshole? Let me just fucking do this right now. I'm, I'm actually happy that I'm calm for once today. Play with an HR Empires Pro to get tips to get better. Maybe you're even right, yeah. I'm just very stubborn. I always feel like I can do it myself. Bring it into strike. Didn't I? Did that? Hey, didn't I bring them into strike? bring into strike why is there different symbols like this is a guy a peasant and this is a, a torch or something what do they want from me right now and the peasant strike is happening any second now who the general staff okay i'm getting the staff to join us 
Name one thing you like about the Middle East. Um... The food? I never eaten that much Middle Eastern food, to be honest. Abdulaziz, Islam, Allah. Yeah, sure. Kebabs? Kebabs are... Like Durans were in Germany. Allows to bring industrial states into the strike. So I'm just rising. I'm making a big strike in Poland. I'm the peasant. When the civil war begins, you get more stuff. <laughs> this is actually really cool, man. You're getting a peasant uprising. It would be nice if there would be a follow-up achievement for that. Like, win the civil war and then kill Russia or something. I live in the Middle East. The food is shit, don't lie. <laughs> Uh, why do you go concentrate not dispersed? Because, because you get, you know, more factory output. Yeah. 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 That's weird right now. We're just getting that fucking achievement really quick. Oh, maybe you should unpause the game for that though. So in 93 days, I should already have that achievement. That should be very, that's a very easy achievement. So the Italy and the Poland achievement are really just for free. These two you can literally do right now for nothing. Have the peasant strike over for the government. Oh, I have to win. Wait, I have to win. Wait, what? I have to win, chat. Yo, what? Get free units? Yeah, get units. You gain free units for infantry battalion support artillery. Okay, let's do the race, the Black Madonna. What the fuck? The Black Madonna is a sacred portrayal of the Blessed Virgin popular among Polish lower classes as the protectress of Poland and her lower class. By adapting the Black Madonna uh, as a symbol of our movement, our people will know that the Blessed Virgin is on our side. The Black Madonna. Don't put that on Twitter, guys. The, the Black Madonna DJ? What? <laughs> I was... <laughs> I'm looking for Polish culture. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, it's this. No, it's this. Is it this? What? Is this the Black Madonna? <laughs> Polish people, what are... Is this what you believe in? Is this the Black Madonna? Yeah, it is? Okay. That's what they're praying to here. I'm raising her. I have to be democratic or something. Yeah, this is a really cool focus tree, man. Let's really just get that attack real quick here. 24 days, we're going in. It's Mary in Christianity. Yeah, I know that Madonna is Mary. Yeah. The blessed Madonna is a DJ. Mm -hmm. It's in Germany, you idiot. What? What are you talking about? Delete the units? I don't think that works. Let's see. It's really whatever, right? You just want to really get it real quick. Okay, two days, three two one and peasant strike boom what ah i have to wait another 150 days uh, uh, plan east that this is so cool man these focus trees are so fucking cool dude fuck yeah i can't wait to play this dude can't wait to play Poland for real. The Madonna pick said something, something in Germany. Okay, favorite thing about the Black Madonna? She's a great DJ. It's strike for now another 300 days for revolution. No, 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 not true. They start the civil war, 124. What do you mean 300? <clears throat> Would you watch geography now Poland while doing Polish achievements? Maybe, maybe. But now I just want to go to bed. I really want to actually... I know, I'm so happy lately on stream. I just want to really sleep, wake up, and get right into the next stream, man. I have so much fun lately. Playing Age of Empires, Zomboid, even Battlefield a bit. I played Battlefield today in private, and I just had to turn it off, man. It's just so fucking trash. Today, I actually tested out the, the Bison, the PP-29, and it has zero recoil. You shoot everyone with that gun. Battlefield is... I just read, I just read, Battlefield is now one of the top 10 worst rated games of Steam of all times. Totally deserved. Problem is, it's still made probably a lot of money. But yeah, that gun is completely broken, man. 
You literally just click on someone and he's dead. I could focus on 35 days now, not 70. Yes, they are learned a lot, man. These guys. Seize military equipment. Remove 10 days from the peasant strikes. <clears throat> All 2021 titles, Metacritic scores suck. Yeah, gaming is dying. What are you going to do? It's all falling apart. The PP29 players are French player. Yeah. One thing you hate about Canada. no enemy spawn so you just win instantly <laughs> okay that's really easy achievement man that's really just a joke that's actually really just a joke okay yeah enemy has no enemy uh, army and you just win i can't wait to, to take poland serious man i'm very very excited for that okay that was just yeah just achievement done you have you have the black madonna as the flag it's so cool oh that is the real black madonna that that is the real one not the one i just showed you guys live there you go i was watching an eu4 for rent stream and it's so much fun you mean mine what san andreas your master has a score of about 0 0.5 chat be like tommy name one thing about south sudan i couldn't literally name a single thing i know a fun thing about sudan i know something about sudan they have uh riots right now because the military took over the government and now they're having riots. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Cool, right? I heard it on the radio today. Okay, let's just really get it real quick here. Shouldn't be a problem. Achievement unlock. As Poland have the peasants strike over for the government. GG. Uh, yes, a lot of yours. I'm tired. Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I know that the president of South Sudan got gifted a hit by george push well gentlemen i'm gonna call it here today that was two little mini achievements italy have full railways which is very easy as poland have the peasant uprising the hard achievements come later this was warm up today we learned a lot uh and i'm pretty positive that this achievement isn't bugged and i'm gonna try it again tomorrow i don't think it's bugged man i don't think so i don't think so right i'm scared Inshallah, it should not be bugged. Tanatuva strong. Tanatuva. As Tanatuva forms Siberia. One sec. One sec. Before I leave today, I want to check something. Oh, why do I always quit the whole game? What could have happened is you took a province in the state. I, I think I really didn't. I'm trying again tomorrow. Just trying that I'm fully alone with... Uh, like something I learned, truly, I mean that about achievements is never have any friends, kill everyone, never have AI friends, kill everything. That way you save yourself. I want to check something before I leave. <sighs> I don't think Romania was in it. Uh, who knows? Very annoying achievement, though, right? You move, make one step into the Stalingrad state, you already lose the achievement. Like, oh. Even if it's bugs, just have fun of the new mechanics. True. Very true. So yeah, tomorrow is just Age of Empires and Hoi 4. No time for anything else, unfortunately. Never have any friends kill everyone. That's a true German, man. Maybe I'll dealt the killing blow or something. Yeah, I just have to fight Russia alone, I guess. But man, minus 50% um, organization debuff. So yeah, Marconi, I can. I hope you can make a YouTube video out of this. I didn't do that much, right? This is more like a, f a finding out stream. I want to check something. Oh, that's... Oh, yeah, yeah. Zomboy? Dude, I'm going to bed, man. I'm an old man. Unite the Turks? Dude, Tanatova can form more nations than anyone else in this game. What? Unite the... What? Tanatova is more in-depth than most of the... F Tanatova is more in-depth than Italy. What? Siberian Unification. Ah, oh, fuck. The 
point is you just need to control it. You just need to control it. It doesn't control annexing, no. Controlling doesn't mean... Now, occupy. There's occupying control. Dude, you fucking have to kill Russia. Don't you have the basic focus tree? <laughs> oh, fuck. I don't know. Well, there's a Wikipedia. Um... I always used a lot. There's a Wikipedia where they explain the achievements. They obviously don't have it yet because they're coming out tomorrow. But they're probably going to talk about them here. Yeah, they're not in here yet. And this is where they always explain stuff. So we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, there's nothing here yet. Okay, boys. I got to really go to bed, man. That was a nice stream. I just... Um... I really hope I can't be less toxic in Age of Empires. It's very hard for me. Because I just can't accept being so fucking bad. I have to get better. It's so important to me to get better at Age of Empires. And I'm going to try again tomorrow. We're going to start very early tomorrow. Age of Empires all fucking day. And then I think 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock German time. We restart. No step back German achievement. This was really fun, man. I really think that this DLC looks amazing. It feels like a brand new game great stuff i'm very scared that in multiplayer shit will get memed but that always happens not the developer's fault i have nothing bad to say about this dlc man very beautifully done let's hope i fucking see the barber tomorrow i look like a homeless guy and thank you guys very very much for watching man thank you for 5,000 viewers man that's quite insane dude even though i always want to be honest man i always want to be honest that that stuff doesn't touch me so much like having 5k viewers it's like i don't have any more like oh, whoa like what i care more about now is that the viewers are entertained and the content is good like i don't care if it's 1k viewers or 5k the content has to be good you know and then i feel it too anyway man thank you guys i see you tomorrow man i'm very very excited this is really a fun time to be alive man that's for sure see you tomorrow Marconi. i'm uploading the camera right now and all the best boys Sleep well. Bye. I kiss you on the forehead. Bye. 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 What? Wann wo ist der Endbutton? Oh, alter Schwede. Mann.